That's good. All right. Um, new modem. We have a new modem. We have our, our upgraded camera. How's the mic sound? I, I adjusted some of the mic settings. Hopefully the mic sounds a little better. Yepi, Ray, Sandwife, what's good, y'all? Mic sounds good. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. It's, yes, that's what I was going for. That's what I was going for, Sandwife. That's what I was going for. Perfect, okay. That's good. That's good. I'm happy about that. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. And I adjusted some of my stream settings too, because when I did get a new modem, um, I was told that I was streaming at too high of a quality. Um, so that does not help if you don't have a really fast upload speed. So... I adjusted the quality of the stream to match my upload speed. I adjusted my mic settings. <laughs> There's so much things you got to worry about to just live stream. But it, it's only because we're just we're just worried about the quality right now. We're just worried about the quality. That's it. Oh, we're dropping. We're dropping frames. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. But welcome in, y'all. Welcome in. Welcome in. As you guys see on the title, we will be playing this bed we made. It will be our first story game. It will be our first story game on this page. We played one like way back when. I think honestly like the second stream ever was a story game. 
Hold on, let me see which one that was. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a dev that I met on um on TikTok. Um Whoa. Let me see. Yeah, Hellfire nineteen eighty eight. This game right here. A lot of you guys were in this stream actually a year ago wow we started this live streaming journey a year ago oh my gosh who in there look sand wife black man ray come on oh geez real oh geez <laughs> yeah this game was this game was okay this game was decent it wasn't like crazy good but it was okay. I didn't know we started that close. Let's go. Yeah. So that look, that's fate. That's fate. <laughs> that we were both live streaming around the same time. Yeah. Cause so a year before, so two years ago was when I posted around two years ago was when I posted my first YouTube video. And then after like, eight or so months of posting is when I wanted to do live streaming. When was this posted? October 2020. So four years ago <laughs> was the first YouTube video. <laughs> Almost four years ago was the first YouTube video. And I really just started live streaming about a year ago. As regularly as we have, I, I've, I've played around with live streaming a lot, but as far as my first YouTube live stream a year ago. Oh, you guys can't see it. Hold on. Look at that. First YouTube live stream. Hold on. Who's in here? My first live stream was Saints Row. Which one? Which Saints Row? My one year anniversary was the day before yesterday. Hold on. I want to see when mine was. Ew. This was just the start. I can't hate on it too much. I can't hate on it too much. This was the first um, layout. I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It was just too. I just come from a very heavy graphic design background, and that's where I'm trying to move towards is more like art. So, I, I yeah I could see. First live stream you I watched was Saints Row. I meant oh when was that? When was that? Here it is. <laughs> when was this posted it doesn't have a day oh september 1st 2022 your first 100 of anything is going to be bad it's the first step to getting good 1000 percent Oh, we went from Saints Row to seven days. <laughs> yeah, we wasn't on Saints Row long. This Saints Row was so bad. <laughs> yeah, we weren't on that for long. We weren't on that for long. All right. Yeah, no, live streaming is a journey, man. It's a journey. As you guys can see, I'm I'm still learning a ton of stuff. Um. I want to do it more. I, I would love to do streaming more. It's just balancing streaming and like actually doing stuff. <laughs> it's very hard. Like I'm probably about to dedicate like three hours to this today. Like, that's a big, that's a big chunk of the day. So that's kind of why I've, I've stayed on that at least once or twice a month. You can at least see a live stream from me at least once or twice a month. I feel like that's a great schedule to keep. Especially with us doing different themes, like the random game streams, like 
like I, I feel like the more we build out themes and stuff i feel like the the more impactful a live stream will be i bought seven days after the stream but regretted because i never played it do not buy games because of me i warn that every time <laughs> Do not buy a game because of me. I've wasted so much money on games, y'all. I've wasted so much money, man. I talk about it all the time. I literally just posted it on here. On here, My backlog of games is stupid. That's why we're, that's why we're spending time playing them. This bed we made, this is, this is going to be it. We are we are going to try to actually beat a game. <laughs> that, 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 that's actually the first for us, y'all. We're actually gonna try to beat a game. <laughs> that might actually be a first for us. <laughs> You're the goofball that got me into Minecraft. Let's go. Hey, Minecraft is a goaded game. That's a game I will revisit until I can't no more. Minecraft is a type of game like you'll definitely play it when you get old. It has its cozy side. It has its adventure side. It just has so many good things. Welcome in green. What's good? Look at all the smiley faces. Yeah, that's the first thing you said on that live. <laughs> I told you, do not buy a game because of me, man. I've made bad financial decisions on these games, man. God, like there's just there's just games I put like an hour and a half, two and a half hours, like just stupid numbers where it's like I could have spent that on a a burger somewhere. Have you seen Cataclysmo? No, let's check it out. Go ahead, and check it out. Minecraft and GTA probably the only games I'll play with my children. <laughs> oh, is this like a Minecraft? Hold on, let me let me switch screens for y'all. Ooh, hold on, let's watch this trailer. Left us broken. Lost. But we found our courage. We rose. Peace by peace. And we did not stop. We faced down horror night after night. The art style is fire. We grew strong. We built new homes. Tamed this land of mist. And we survived. They broke us once. But I see no broken souls today. Your people carved from stone. And with this stone, we will rebuild. That's solid. You have complete granular control over the architectural design. Let's see if they show like a good photo of it. Yeah, like that's really cool. Okay. This is sweet. This is sweet. I like this. Cataclysmo. It instantly reminded me though, there's another city builder that's about to drop. Hold on, let's just go to... Let's go to the best category on Steam. Simulation. Oh, this just dropped too, y'all. 
I, I really don't want to <clears throat> play this and DDoS myself, but like <laughs> you can play a zombie survival game in real world locations. Like it's crazy. This game's going to be crazy, but the reviews haven't been great for it so far. It's early access, so I've been I've been kind of staying away from it right now. But I think that will be really fun. But there's this city builder that they're like I've seen a few people play it, like streamers play it, but it's not out yet. Is there like a, I've been seeing a ton of people play this freaking buckshot roulette. Dang, what was it called? Dude, the <laughs> even though simulation is one of the best categories on here, I'm just looking at some of these games like, what the heck? <laughs> Yo, the choices of games is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> a little adult rated in there. God dang. All right. What was the name of it? Can I just type in City Builder and it will just show me City Builder type games? No, it will just do a search for them. Yeah, I can't remember what the name of it was, but basically it promoted like you could go through like thousands of years of history. And I was like, ooh, that's that's kind of what City Skyline is missing right now. If City Skyline lets you go from the 90s to like futuristic time period city skyline would be goaded that would probably be one of the best city builder games ever like medieval city builder games they don't really do it for me because it's like i don't i just don't know nothing about that time period <laughs> i need a city builder where i can go to war tropico tropico they they have a lot of war mechanics on there now and tropico tropico is one of the ones that's the oh we gotta play world box again we gotta add that to the next random game rotation was it nah it's not that oh let's go to the new and trend in my bad my bad if they did add some military stuff to city skyline that would be kind of cool too i don't know what it would be but it would be kind of cool yeah, I can't I can't remember what the name of that game was. I love City Builders, man. City Builders is easily one of my favorite genres. It's very easy to get addicted to it. And then like I'd probably say like sports games is is slowly slowly getting in that realm too. All right. Um, I'm still seeing some frame drops here and there. So I might make one more change before we start this. Yeah, I'm going to make one more change before we start this. If you guys just stay in here, you guys shouldn't have to refresh or anything. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Um, should we watch a trailer to start this? Aisha, what's good? Yeah, let's watch the trailer to start this. Let's watch the trailer to start this. I feel like that makes sense. I feel like that makes sense. Let's run the trailer up real quick. 
Yeah, what's good, Aisha? Welcome in, y'all. You guys are new here. My name is Malik Childish. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but those passing by when I clean the rooms, about to get playing. Get a little curious. This bed we made. This is an award-winning game. Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. I could keep an eye out and call you if I see our mysterious photographer return. Are you telling me I should snoop around? Well, it's nothing you haven't done before, is it? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, Andrew, hi. I, I was spying on our manager. I can't remember the last time work was this interesting. Yeah, that's definitely one way to put it. What the hell? Sophie Roy, I'm Detective Maurice I don't Trumbley. think so. I don't think I it's a horror game. You tell me everything that happened. <laughs> Maybe don't mention that to the police. Hmm? Did you touch anything? No, nothing. This scary. <laughs> I don't think so. What a week. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Miss Roy, but I just don't believe you. I could not have done this without you. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I think it's just, yeah, crime, adventure. Look, I was like, hold on, we might have to. <laughs> I was like, we might have to, uh, you know, what I mean? get right real quick. That, yeah, I, I don't think so. So they got best actors performance, um, emergent talent favorite. Um, they got a ton of awards. Uh, best audio and music, social impact nominee for Unreal Engine, nominee for critics choice and then they got indie finalists in 2021 so they're they got a ton of awards that they were getting credited by a lot of major studios so we this might be one of the ones they put every tag hey come on man it's the indie life man it's the indie life you know you got to you know you got to all right let's let's get right y'all let's get right man Let me close out of some things. Did I did I click play now? <laughs> I was gonna need something to calm me down. <laughs> Thoughts on the rat beef? <sighs> I'm both a Kendrick and a Drake fan. I'm both a Kendrick and a Drake fan. Drake Drake on top of the hills all by himself fighting right now. Yeah, he got everybody going out his head right now. <laughs> yeah, there's some real Kendrick fans around me. But I, I don't know, man. I'm I'm waiting for Kendrick's response now. Drake dropped his response. I don't know if you guys seen last night, he actually dropped an AI song where he like changed his voice to sound like Tupac. Have you guys seen that? That was kind of freaky. I don't, I, I didn't have much thoughts on that, but like the more I think about it, I'm like, that's, that's kind of crazy. And to add, it was also kind of weird too. Um, Mac Miller dropped a new song. And Mac Miller's song kind of sounded AI-esque. I don't want to say it is. I don't want to say it is. I don't want to say it is because I was a big Mac Miller fan. But I, I feel like that is a thing. I feel like if you look deep into the music industry, it's probably capable of them to recreate anybody's voice, which is kind of freaky. They got people like me who's talking about <laughs> all of it. Facts. This is like by far one of the biggest things to happen in rap in like 10 years or so. So I feel like if you're any type of rap fan, like you gotta somewhat know 
not no, but you have to somewhat be in tune with this conversation because how this ends, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds disrespectful. Like I said, the, the AI stuff, I, I don't know. I don't know what that comes out of that in the long term. In the long term, I don't know what comes out of that. I was hungry for beef. <laughs> hey, competition is, is what makes a lot of things that we like great. That's what makes movies great, TV shows great, sports teams great. You got to have good competition. It's not like artists like these. It's not like these artists get their credit. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. Which that is a fact too. Like, it's weird that we have to go back to artists that were from the '90s and stuff. Like, can we can we not be original today anymore? Is that time almost gone? Is there no originality? Okay. Oh no. There's no escape to the credits. Oh, I accidentally clicked this. Okay. I was about to say, thanks for supporting this bed we made. Your support means the world to us as a small indie team. I got you, gang. I got you. Biggie made 200K from all his, yeah. Yeah. Hey, when it comes to the record label stuff, man, y'all gotta know that's as sketchy as it gets. <laughs> that's as sketch, especially the further back you go. Oh man, that stuff gets super sketchy. Is create creativity just dead now, man? That's why I would say the beef is good for rap because rap did hit a point, especially like last year. Where if you weren't already a rap fan, you're not listening to rap. <laughs> you were you were turning on those songs and cutting them off in five minutes because you're like, what the heck is this? That happened 2020, 2019. That was that was a bad period of rap. Just as a as a genre. That's what that's what had me exploring other genres. <laughs> Like 2018, 2019, my Spotify got crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. Come on now, miss. Let's keep moving. Let me know if anything anything wonky with the audio or anything. It's on your right. Here. What is? What is on my right? I can't even look. So each need has a sign for it. Then why is it that you were working the people who are all Oh, this is cinematic. They don't want me to look the other direction. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Not gonna lie, X would still be in the rap game. Oh yeah, he definitely would. He definitely would. She's all yours, sir. Sophie Roy, I'm Detective Maurice Tremblay. Called him indie because they're not mainstream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 21 years old, working at the Clarington for over a year. Husband? I'm sorry? Are you married? No, not yet. I live with my mother. She's sick, so I have to take care of her. No father? No. It's always just been me and my mom. All right, Miss Roy. I need you to tell me everything that happened, starting with this morning. La fontaine, les filles s'en vont et s'y promènent aux bras des garçons qui les entraînent au cœur des buissons mmh. où elles étreignent l'amour en saison qui les enchaîne dans un tourbillon de vrais poèmes. They got that musical war for a reason. 
Faut pas rien. Les plus belles chansons d'amour Au clair de la fontaine mmh. J'ai dans tes yeux Mille couleurs Quand la claire fontaine S'amuse et Oh, the music keep playing while you in it? That's hard. All right, move camera. So I don't know if you guys know, we did play a little bit of this. Um, We did play a little bit of the pro prologue. Um, not that long ago, actually. That's a lot of money to owe. Just what did you get yourself involved in? You know me. You know my family. You've had a seat at our, you've had a seat at our bar since the day we opened in '49. You're more than a friend to us. You're practically family. And while friends are polite to each other, family deserves more. Family deserves honesty. As much as I want to be direct as possible and letting you know that you're down to your last chance, the 8380 you owe us plus 25% interest is now eight months overdue. Yeesh! Yeah, let me go ahead and put that back. I don't, my bad. If I was cleaning, I ain't gonna lie. If I was cleaning like this, I'd be I'd be snooping too. Regretful as we are to have the to resort to these lines of communication, our client and your neighbor um, has been ultimately evasive of our many attempts. He's owed. Not, God dang! Who is this? Jesus! He owes everybody. What else we gotta clean up? What else we gotta clean up? Is she humming to the music? That's kind of fire. Boom, boom. Gotta make, it, gotta make the bed. You know what I mean? Yeah, we did play the demo. I like that she turned it down because the NPCs always turn it off. That is true. Well, here go another letter. We snooping. It did sound French. Is this another bill? God dang. All right, we good. Can we get up out of here? You brought your own mug? Well, best I guess dad. Aren't quite as complimentary. Okay, yeah, are, we're good to go, right? Yeah, the, the shots of this game is fire. It feels like you're watching a movie. What was that? They had her head. Well, when your own wife is that dull, you need to get your excitement somewhere. <laughs> oh, did you see Rebecca? Co-workers hating. She was wearing the same clothes. Now, once you think it was a reaction, this is exactly the kind of behavior Linda warned me about. Yeah, these scenes look great. She's doing everything she can to break up the park. Sophie speaking. Hey. Beth, do you think you could come up real quick? Um, sure. I'll be right there. You're right, you couldn't. No, I didn't arrive at this time. I am so in love with you that I didn't think you were. That's why I don't hang with coworkers. <laughs> Facts. Facts. You see me at work, that's it. Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. All right, we got to find Beth. See, I love when games do this. 
because they want you to walk a certain direction, but they match it to look like the scenery. <laughs> like, they just don't put an invisible wall here. I like when games do that. Like, look. <laughs> don't go that way. Go this way. Oh, look at all the little decorations. What's good, Beth? Hey, what was you calling me for? Hey there. So, who's sleeping? Sleep? Hmm? What? what you talking about? You were whispering just now on the phone. So I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, yeah, no. It's Jacques and Wendy. They were, um, in the middle of something. Ugh, it's so awkward when they start making out like no one's watching. Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. Uh, uh, they weren't kissing. They, they was just talking about me. Time. They were fighting. Oh, they weren't kissing this, this is time. Entertaining. <laughs> I mean, oh no, why? I'm not completely sure, but it sounded like Linda had something to do with it. Ugh, that. Bitch. I'm just making up stuff. <laughs> Trust me, she deserves it. Oh God, there's three. Okay, uh. Why does everyone hate Linda? I don't get why everyone hates her so much. Let's just get some. Linda's let's get the scoop on something. To you, maybe, <laughs> but she's just the worst to every girl she perceives as a threat. A threat? A threat to what? I don't know. Her place as Bernard's right hand, I suppose. So, you're <laughs> saying I'm not a threat? I'm not saying that. I'm saying Linda thinks that, but that's her mistake. I know there's more to you than meets the eye. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. So, um. Oh, Sophie's so you shy. Said you needed me. My help. I mean. Oh right. Wanna guess why? Um, I don't know. Just tell know me what you need. Games. It doesn't have to be a good guess. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. I, I don't know. Just tell me. Please I'm at work. Me. I'm at work. Well, you calling me? I can't make you work for it. God. A nice gentleman decided it was time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. That's it. I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk, Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Well. We can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people would riot. Bernard, especially. <laughs> Bernard's so Bernard's the boss, the then. People. Anyway. Or the I manager. He's just the manager. Work. He's not There's even a, a boss. in the supply closet next to Bernard's office, I think. Thanks. I'll see you around. <sighs> Bernard already sounds interesting, though. Open journal. Haunted Hotel. Trouble in Paradise. Wendy and Jackie arguing in the break room. But they weren't arguing. They were talking about Sophie. Um, Beth's banter. Even if it's only a few minutes of, out of my day, my chats with Beth are always in highlight. Yeah, she seems interesting. What is this? Oh, the different characters. Okay. Oh, this is dope. Bernard. Yep, he the manager. Oh, it says the big boss. Okay. Bernard sounds like he's just the employee. <laughs> it said he the manager, man. He the manager. Mom, dad, what? Left when I was two years old. Haven't heard from him since. Why did they put this in here? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get that mop from the supply closet. Okay, she said Bernard's office was this way, right? Look, there you go in there. And uh, Wendy's great at her job. Guests absolutely love her and huh, not just guests, apparently. Oh god damn it, Linda! I only like her because guests like her. Making sure guests are happy is my job after all. You don't Linda sound like she be getting happy. into some mess. Listen, if Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but I can't just fire her without good reason. What if she stirred up trouble among the staff? Would that be a good reason? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh. Oh, this is in the Andrew. trailer. Hi. I, I was, I mean, 
I'm sorry, I was just spying on our man. I, I was nosy, no. okay? I, I heard something and I Give me the options. Give me the options. Okay, I'm just pulling your leg. I'm I'm sorry I scared you. I'm just I, I'm not used to having people around me while I work. Yeah, you're always working alone up there, aren't you? I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. Um no, yeah, no, Beth told me to come Beth here. Beth called me. A guest knocked over a vase and made a mess in the, the lobby. The main character just like me yeah, at work. I saw <laughs> no, I think about everyone. <laughs> you the plug. Well, you the gossip plug. I'll be doing that. Then okay, clean the reception hall with Nicole. Ooh, yeah, I don't even want to see the state of the place after this weekend. I know chocolate fountains are for dipping, but I didn't expect to find someone's shoe in there. How? <laughs> no idea. You must see plenty of weird stuff too, right? Yeah. What's the weirdest thing you found in a guest's room? Don't tell me they're gonna fall in love. I don't know. Um, they don't seem like they connect like that yet. I mean, Andrew seems kind of weird. It says, what's the weirdest thing you found in a guest room? Uh, dude, that got all that debt. A few months ago, I found stacks of pennies in a room's toilet. Like a lot of them what uh, <laughs> what and when i got to the bed the pillowcases were filled with pennies as well i'm still not oh, sure this, if I oh this hotel a mess y'all oh this hotel a mess robbery what did oh. we get ourselves into I, uh, I better go help beth it's hell here with the snowstorm it's okay i need to um your job yeah. come on right. come on sophie let's go take care you too Sophie, come on, come on, come on. See, that's how Sophie, that, that's when she gonna get messed up. She almost too nosy. Let's see what it does say about Andrew. Whenever I see him, he's either dashing off on his latest errand or burying himself in a book. So we haven't had a lot of chances to socialize. When we do, though, it feels easy. Like talking to someone perfectly attuned to your wavelength. Maybe I should ask him for some book recommendations. Oh, you might be right, Aisha. You might be right. All right. Uh, that's the manager's office. Employees only. Janitor's closet. Yeah, this is what we need. This is what we need. Where'd I join at? Where'd I join at? What did we need in here? A broom, right? I guess we. it's the only option. Should I close it? Yeah, let's close it. Let's not be crazy, employees. <laughs> I sent her to the mirror to work on her charisma. <laughs> okay, Sophie. Time to clean up that mess. Yeah, she's she's interesting. She has an interesting personality right now. Pick up the leaves. Boom. I love these little random Ew. cleaning tasks. Throw that away. Yeah, th throw it away then. What is she talking about? Oh, there we go. Ugh, it actually cleans it. Oh, what's that? A film roll. Hmm. Guess must have dropped it when he knocked over the vase. I might, I might take it. Return it to him. Return it or should we, you know, take that one? Now I just put the leaves back in the vase and it'll be like nothing ever happened. Boom. Good job, Sophie. I like the game right now. No, I, I have no complaints. I'm 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 in it right now. Maybe Beth remembers who knocked over the vase. Yeah, sure. I understand, Mr. Ramsey. I wish I could make I thought I wouldn't really? I really it's an award winning game! Sadly, that's not within my power. It's one Beth, awards. Who knocked over that vase, Mr. Spade? Mr. Spade. Well, I can check with the airport and let you know when flights resume. Until then, yes, yes, I know. You've said that already, but she said, "Mr. No, Spade." That's very unlikely. So, which room are you staying in, Mr. Spade? Mr. Spade, where you at? Speak to my manager if you'd like. No, oh no. Right. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Well, 505. He's in 505. Manager. Would you like to contact him? 
Beth said the guest was a Mr. Spade. He's in room 505. Someone probably belongs to him. I should be able to find his room in the I'm picky, room. man. I, I will say story games. I'm always the type for story oh games. Like, God. somebody has to tell me. I need to get back to the logbook and find Mr. Spade's room number. Oh, there has to be, a, like, a talking animation for it. Clasp your hands together and think really hard about just how much you want the snowstorm to end. Who is she talking to? help to repeat his name, too. It's, um, God... G O D. I'm sure he'll be very sick. Down here. To right there. Flight. Room 505. Great. That's on my floor. I can return that film roll without going out of my way. Let's go. Let's get to it then. If anyone can make the snowstorm. Yeah, when it comes to story games, somebody has to recommend it to me. It's hard for me to just buy a story game on my own. So this one oh, and then the please. next story game that we have. Oh! Are you okay? Yeah, it's just... I slipped on the puddle by the restrooms. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a I, steam I trophy? That. Oh, no, no, it, it's my fault. I should have asked Eugene to repair the leak. Which floor? Oh, uh, sixth. I didn't know I was supposed to clean all the puddles. What's the big rush? I need to bring this to our VIP guest. The one who rented the entire floor. Oh, is it that British man I keep hearing about? I <laughs> can't. Um. Why does he need why snow? Does he need a bucket full of snow. No idea. I don't even ask anymore. It's just the latest in a long series of strange requests. So the Please sixth floor has a rich guy living up there. Maybe. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if he's just pulling an elaborate. Zazu, what's good? It's been a minute. I've welcome, welcome. I always talk to his assistant. Only Bernard knows his identity. Oh. His name is I God. I'm pretty sure he'll be. Suspicion. Yeah, she was going oh. in on whoever that was. Oh. But I'm, I'm not sure I should say it. Can't you at least give me a hint? Hmm. Okay, let me think. Ooh. Saved by the bell. Hey, come on. What was they about to talk about? Let's just say. I like to prolong the suspense. Wait, is that the hint? Hmm. Who knows? What, wait, what, what do we miss? Have fun up there. You too. Yeah, Aisha, you might be right. You might be right. That boy, Andrew, he, <laughs> that boy got game. That boy got game. So Mr. Spade, all right, let's get to it. So I think this is Mr. Spade's this is basically where the prologue started at. And this didn't take us long. It only took us like 20 minutes, I think. It's like 20, 30 minutes. Mr. Spade. That'd be so weird for a hotel room door to just be cracked open. Mr. Spade. Room service. Room service. Oh, I, th I thought those was bullets. Appreciate you stopping by, Zazu. You're gonna have to come back and chill with us a little longer next time. But always appreciate you coming by, saying what's good. Have a good rest of your day. I thought those was like bullets or something that was sitting there. You just got a bunch of film. Oh, okay, no, we remember this. We remember this. We remember this. Tamper with objects may lead to positive or negative consequences. That's me. What is this? When did he take these? Man, why, of course they, they give us the character that be snooping on everybody's stuff, man. 
She be snooping on everybody's stuff. Who's she gonna call? Who are you calling? Who are you calling? Who are you calling, Sophie? Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Let's call Andrew. Beth, it's Sophie. I ain't telling can Beth. I... I ain't telling Beth. Can I speak to Andrew, please? Um, yeah. I ain't talk. I ain't telling that to Beth. Beth go tell everybody. Hey, are you okay? Hey, Sophie. Yeah, it's just... My trip to the sixth floor took longer than expected. Oh, I'm sorry to add to your plate, but... I really need your help. Sure. What's up? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Mr. Spade? Why would he... We can't say he caught us snooping. I Not yet. Not yet. He took pictures of me. I I found them hanging over the bathtub. He set up a kind of dark room. Jesus. What are you doing in them exactly? Dang it. Um I can't believe I'm about to say this, but Dang. sometimes when I clean the rooms, I get a little curious and um you know At least we didn't tell Beth this. Our guest stuff. Beth would have lit us up. <laughs> Mr. Spade caught you in the act. Yes. I think... I think we should call the police. Whoa, slow down a minute. But Sophie, Beth's probably going to say you asked to speak to Andrew. But... Invading our guests' privacy. but I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I'm I leaving Beth. I, I don't like Beth's personality. But others might not. With those pictures, it could really blow up in your face if a guest were to complain about missing items. <sighs> I could throw them out. Yeah, I, I could throw them away. Throw them out. Uh, well, that's one way to deal with it, I guess. You said you found the pictures hanging over the. Whip back, them up right? shh, 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 and just get up out of there. Mm, I wouldn't say wet, but a little damp. Yeah. Okay, so you must have developed them fairly recently. What are you getting at? Well, the pictures you found were left there to dry, but he could have developed more of them in an earlier batch. He wouldn't have left them in the bathroom, though. Probably stored them somewhere dry. Um, there is a safe here. Well, I didn't look through the entire room, but there is a safe here. That would certainly be a good place to store pictures. Do you have the safe? Lose your job then? and catch the weirdo. I'm pretty sure it's locked. So, like, keep the photos. Give me a What? Bad news is, I can't find the combination list. Okay, we, re we remember that from the prologue. Do without it. Prologue. Most is it prologue or prologue? To make sure they don't forget it. So, say you wanted to look for it, I could keep an eye out and call you if I see our mysterious photographer return. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Oh, and Andrew. Look yes. at her. Please keep this between us. Of course. All right, hey, Aisha, we might have to, we might have to keep Andrew close. Uh, I mean, till we figure out this whole situation. Here, let's close this door. Let's close that door real quick. Did you intend for me to discover your little dark room, or did this just fall down? I'd forget my own head if I didn't write everything down. Don't forget. I guess we have that in common. To buy more film. He left his keys? Clues. Okay. Okay. If reception gave him a code. Maybe I'm not gonna lie. I think I remember where they put somewhere. this at. Oh, it was a combination of things. 
Like it's the day, like 1944. Yeah, it's a combination of things. We just have to remember where he put that at. I would just wait to catch him personally. Ain't you see him from experience? He like, nah, he he would put him up. He wouldn't just leave him in there. I would never do that. <laughs> What's this? That's rough. How are you supposed to support yourself when no one will give you a job or a place to live? However, this does not change the fact that you don't have the qualifications for the job. If you did, I could not hire you. What is this? Hey, weirdo, stop wasting my time. I'm not hiring you ever. Dang. Okay. Is this it? You're pawning off your possessions? What do you need the money for? What do you mean, what do you need the money for? You just seen the job application? Oh boy, is in these streets. You got a lot of clothes in here, though. So you basically live here. Oh, I forgot about all this. Not too close? Okay, okay, okay. Copy, copy, copy. You right, you right, you right. You right. Why Harry's? Lots of burger places closer to the hotel. Um. Beaver Lake. I took mom skating there just a few weeks ago. Oh, is he stalking, stalking? I don't remember that. I thought it was just all coincidences. I just visited the oratory for the first time in years. This has to be a coincidence. Right? <laughs> she heard me. You ain't got nothing to say about that? Okay. This was the sale where I found that winter jacket that mom loves. Were you there too? Harry's diner too. Were we ever there at the same time? Probably. He said, and then he's like, why Harry's? She could have ate anywhere else closer. And I just, I had to stalk her all the way. Four blocks down. Morgan. <laughs> Is that your real name? Why did you check in under Mr. Spade? Yeah, he, he is keeping this Paul Morgan. I've seen that Paul Morgan name a lot. You have to stop writing this address. Lindsay died two years ago. I do not know what happened between the two of you, but please let us grieve in peace. Lindsay's mother. No clue who Lindsay is. Nah, who is he? One man's trash is another maid's trash. Uh. Uh, request to move to 507. Why did you want to change rooms? Yeah, no surprise Bernard denied the request. Mrs. Beaumont's been here so long, we could probably just put her name on the door at this point. <laughs> Who knew Bernard could be nice? Oh, that's cool. So if you pick up something, you can click different things on it to read Who it. Knew Bernard could be nice. That's kind of fire. Okay, so you, for some reason, wanted to move. I ain't cleaning this room up, Dad. Do not forget to take your pills. Why is he just writing stuff down? Holy Bible. Who started that trend? Let's turn this off. Oh, that's the TV. That's not even the radio. The storm must be getting worse. I hope mom's not too bored without her TV shows. Dang. And it's a snowstorm. 
We got a stalker in the middle of a snowstorm. Locked. There has to be a key somewhere. All right, let's find the key then. Did we open this drawer? Okay, yeah, let's find the key to his uh his suitcase. That's a lot of film. How many pictures have you taken, Mr. Morgan? No, that's just his hotel key. Mm. I'm trying to remember back to the prologue, but... Dang. Where that boy's key at? Oh, here it is. What do we have here? Hmm. You spent... Ten years in a psychiatric hospital. And it looks like you left with a long list of diagnoses and prescriptions. Oh, so he crazy. Oh, he crazy then. He a wild boy. Alright. Dang, there was nothing in there that we needed. Huh? Is he here? Who? Oh, Mr. Spade? No, no, he's not. Andrew! You said you'd call if he was coming back to his room. Right. I I did, right. Uh, sorry about that. Oh my god, Andrew. I nearly had a heart attack when I heard the phone ring. I'm so sorry, Sophie. I I couldn't help but check in. Did you find more pictures of you? No, I haven't. I did find but that map. Though. I did find something else. What is it? He's got a kind of yarn map. What of on Montreal. earth is going on? <laughs> wow. Like they have in the movies. We're playing what is he this bed we made. I think. Better the fold them sheets. We spots. snooping right now. What's good, Shogun? This is I visited recently. Jesus. Did you. Uh, have you found anything on him? Mr. Spade isn't his real name. He spent time in a... No, let's just say Mr. Spade is his real name. evidence that points to his real name being Paul Morgan. Mr. Spade must be an alias. The Maltese Falcon. The Mal what? I can't believe I didn't notice it earlier. The Maltese Falcon. It's a book centered around a private investigator named Sam Spade. Oh, you don't think Mr. Morgan's a PI too, do you? Well, if he is, he's not exactly being subtle about that it. That boy ain't no, like ain't no uh, PI. James Bond as a pseudonym. Did hey, you. you. <laughs> it's from another book. Did you find anything else? Uh, nah, I ain't gonna tell him about the psychiatric hospital. We gonna, no, yeah, no, I ain't no, even putting everybody's okay. business out there. Wait, you figured out the combination already? It took some work, but yes. No. Wow. You're a resourceful gal, aren't you? I have my moments. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Okay, I'll call you back. Please do. And I won't call again unless no. Mr. Morgan returns. For real this time. All right. Thanks. Sophie. Sophie. We did not. We don't know the combination yet, Sophie. She just lying. She just lying. Andrew just want to talk on the phone. Okay. Andrew's right. Our guest did write down the safe combination. Or at least a reminder. I'm hoping that by looking around. How, wait. How did I get this clue? How did I get this clue? <laughs> Lindsay's address, we have that. Um, thirty four Somers Street. So thirty four Infantry Division, thirty four forty two, and then when he got out the hospital. 57 So 57 Hold on 34 42 57 I'm wondering if we can pull that up while we're doing this
Was it 52? Oh, it's pretty easy to go back and forth. 42. So 42. And then his discharge, 57. God dang it. Damn it. Oh, that's not it? Because I'm confused at how we even have this. Andrew is right. Our guest did write down the safe combination, or at least, very least, a reminder for it. I'm hoping that by looking around 505, I might be able to find some clues to decipher. Okay, Lindsay's address. So let's, let's make sure that was Lindsay's address. Yep, 34. Twenty-three, maybe. Let's try twenty-three. Welcome to everyone that came in. What's good, y'all? Damn it! Ah, that ain't working either. So we know thirty-four and fifty-two is for sure. Come on, Sophie. Or unless this clue is straight up lying to me. Oh, it does say infantry division, not the year. 99th. 99th infantry division. Okay. Okay. Let's go up to 99. Hey, 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 come on now. Oh! The boy strapped up. Okay, Sophie, you should probably put this down. I'm wicked like blurs when you turn it towards you. <laughs> Hold on, I need that plain text. Are they guests here? MNH both nicely dressed. M was holding a flower. Room. Oh, so he's stalking other people. God dang. So I might be safe, honestly. I ain't the only person he's stalking. I might be one of his new victims. Sure I've checked every page of the journal. Okay. My bad, my bad. My bad, Sophie. You're going through their trash? You really want to find out what M and H are up to, don't you? God dang. 5 4 12 12 a.m. 12:55 a.m. 5 4 This boy is on a mission. Why are you following them? And who's sneaking out at night? So many questions. M and H arrived at the hotel shortly after. H looked angry. Something happened during the taxi ride, but what? No sign of M and H early afternoon. Tonight we'll try to find out who's sneaking out at night. Ticket has weird symbols on it, just like Harry's diner receipt. See, so it, it, it low key was a coincidence then. It low key was a coincidence that we were seeing the same locations on that little board he made. This ain't got nothing to do with us. He still has photos of us, but it ain't got nothing to do with us. Go ahead, close that back. 
M and H. Maybe Andrew could find them in. Yeah, let's call Andrew back. Andrew! Andrew! Clarington Hotel. Andrew, I might be in the clear, but. It's me. Oh, hey. Uh, just a sec. Beth, could you cover for me? Uh, again. Mm, Aisha. Sorry about that. Aisha, he might be so, thinking. Think, open Beth City? might be like, why did they keep talking on the phone? Okay, I found his journal. Oh? Does it say why he's stalking you? No, but it seems he's stalking Nah, he's two still other stalking. <laughs> two other staff members? Who is it? No, no. They're guests. M and H. I their names, though. I, I was hoping you could find them in the logbook. Oh, she oh, has his M and H. How is he supposed yeah, to sure. find them? Are you all right? Of course. Uh, sorry. Why is um, Andrew nervous? Uh, I'll, I'll just need some more info to narrow the search. What do you know about them? Um, they're referred to Mr. as H and M. Refers to them as H and M. That's terrible. Hey, and <laughs> now Sophie's talking. <laughs> maybe I don't know, husband and mistress. Oh, I, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, I'll need a little more to go on. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have much. There are a couple. From what I can gather, it seems they're together. Okay. So we're probably looking for a room with a double bed then. Yeah. Do we have a lot of couples at the moment? Well, seeing as last Friday was Valentine's Day. Uh, we definitely, oh. there's definitely a oh, ton yeah. of couples then. A lot. <laughs> I'm making it hot. Yeah, this. Couples staying in room 509. That's close to 507. Hector That's where you wanted Marcella to move. Cruz. Hector and Marcella. That might be it. H and M. That I might be exactly. it. Exactly. How are they linked to me? No. Sophie, no. Uh, why is Mr. Morgan stalking them? Yeah, why sure. Mr. Morgan would be after the cruises? Who knows? Maybe he's madly in love with Marcella, but their romance was cut short when Big Bad Hector swooped her away. Andrew. Yeah, you're right. Too cliche. Do you? Andrew Loki got game, y'all. He Loki. He Loki getting I Sophie. Do actually. Would it be wrong of me to suggest you do some snooping? I guess that's what I'm known for now. Nah, don't worry. I'm sure we'll find a better legacy for you. I'll call you if I find anything. Look, Andrew just sitting behind the desk all comfortable, relaxing, not doing nothing, sending Sophie to go snoop. Come on, man. What if Andrew is Mr. Spade? Ah. Either he knows him already, or Andrew's just actually weird. <laughs> I have a feeling they know each other. Like he told him, like, yeah, this is just the hotel to stay at, my boy. My keys I got you. Again. What? What? I'll need my keys to enter room 509. I should probably check the break room. You walked all the way down here and ain't got the Come keys? On, Sophie. That door won't magically unlock just because you want it to. Come on. I need my keys. See? What is this? <laughs> little yo yo joint. Um, self service ice. Is the break room on this floor or do I have to go all the way back downstairs? Yeah, I guess I gotta go all the way back downstairs. Oh, dang. This is kind of creepy. Shoot, it's locked. I guess I'll have to get Linda's master key instead. Why is the break room locked? Master key was in the lock box. Eugene must be running around trying to keep. Hmm. Last was I in the checked, locker room. Linda's master key was in the locker room. I was about to say I gotta go all the way back to the lobby now. 
Yo, look at the lighting. Chill. Oh! Who are they talking about? Hypocrite bitch. What did Linda do? And to whom? Who wrote that? My wife will be at her parents tonight, so come by my house at 8 and make sure you bring the new lingerie I bought you. B. Bernard? Oh. Oh, Linda. What would your husband think of all this? Not Linda. Not Linda. That's crazy, just in the locker room. <laughs> That's wild to just have that just in plain sight of the locker room. Wild. Oh, it's spicy now. Rebecca's had her hands full lately. I hope she's doing okay in there. Dang. The master key only unlocks the guests' rooms. I'll have to get my keys later. At least I can get into 509 now. God dang it. Well, guess we rocking with the master key. And now we know that Linda and Bernard are messing around. Hey, Sophie. Oh, uh, hey, Andrew. On break already? Uh, no, no, not yet. I have to deliver something to our VIP guest. Again? Yeah, the requests just keep on coming. What about you? Aren't you supposed to be in 509? I'm heading up now. I just had to grab Linda's master key before I could continue our... Ah, gotcha. What a day, huh? Tending to an eccentric VIP guest, discovering, uh, well, what you discovered in 505. Pretty exciting as far as a work day at the Clarington goes. Yeah, that's definitely one way to put it. That is funny that's to think they just at work. <laughs> they just on the clock. <laughs> uh, I just saw something on Linda's While door, I was by the way. For my keys, I found some graffiti on Linda's door. We could tell Andrew this. What is it? The words hypocrite bitch in red lipstick. I wonder who could have written it. Call this an educated guess, but Wendy has a pretty solid motive to me. You'd have to be living under a rock to miss how Linda's been treating her lately. Um. Yeah, I don't want to get involved. I'd rather not get. Involved. I ain't trying to get between. Yeah, I'm just trying to wise. get up to room five oh seven. Make things worse. Interpersonal conflict makes for a good read, but in real life, it can be a bit much to deal with. You've always been good at staying above it, though. You get along with everyone. Yeah, right. Oh, there's little hearts on this one. It I don't think I get along with everyone, but some people are worth getting friendlier with. Like you. Just oh, in case. Thanks. Just I'm in case. Everyone around here thinks I'm a complete bore. Wait Just in Beth case. <laughs> well, it was nice to chat. Don't let me keep you though. I have to head to maintenance anyway. Maybe Eugene can help me find the product our guest of honor is looking for. Yeah, we both got a lot on our plates today. I'll be ready and waiting for your updates on H and M. Take care. You too. Aww. Yeah, just just in case we need them. Uh, yeah, leave basement. Leave basement. Oh wait, could we have snooped on Andrew? Getting into five on I will be no problem with the master key. Let's get out. <laughs> I do have five oh six next on my list. What, Yeppy? What? Pop in before checking out five. Just in case, man. You never know. Andrew might really come in handy. Everyone around here thinks I'm a complete boy. Yeah, that'd be me, Andrew. <laughs> Close. What this? More work for poor Rebecca. Hang in there, Reb. Who's Rebecca? We haven't met a Rebecca yet, right? Another safe. What's in here? No, no photos. Thank goodness. Thank, thank goodness. 
These are lovely. I wish you'd had more confidence in yourself. I still love you as much as I did on the day I met you. Oh, who? Wait, who wrote this? Whose room are we in? Is this H and M's? Wait. Where's the bed? Oh, they they must have a bedroom for this. I'll hold off on throwing this out just yet. That guy is no good. <laughs> we gonna see. Uh, what we got here? The Holy Bible just knocked on the ground. That's never a good sign, I wow. feel like. You look like a couple out of a magazine. They do, though. Oh, Valentine's Day, 1948. Dang. Whoever was sleeping, somebody was sleeping on the couch. I see that. This person looking for you back in Texas. Was he really just a co-worker? Can I believe you decided to renew your vows so far away from the family? Your father and I are very disappointed, and so are your sisters. Montreal. What a strange destination. I would not be surprised if this was another one of your wife's ideas. I met Luciana in town yesterday. She has five children and is pregnant with her sixth. Juan has just bought them that nice house on the corner of Prado and Ramos. Imagine if you had married her like you were supposed to. <laughs> you would have your own family by now. That's crazy. Yesterday, I also drove by your home to get the mail. As I was leaving, I met a man who was looking for you. I think he was one of your colleagues from work, but I'm not sure. I told him you're in Montreal and would be back next week. When you come back exact when do you come back exactly? I hope you can be there for your uncle's birthday party on Friday. I'll make your favorite cake. Mother. All right. Some random dates on here. Uh, rose petals on bed. Return from tree. So he was supposed to return February 17th. Look, we really snooping now. We all up in they business. God. Hey. Yo. Yo. Are y'all looking at these prices? $7 to eat at a hotel restaurant? He's spending, he, he's spending, he going a whole day spending $20? Chill. We down bad now, y'all. So it, so from this scene, they got into some sort of argument. His mom already didn't want him to marry this, this shorty. And they went across the country to get married. I ain't reading all that. What'd that say? Mrs. Cruz got her personal information stolen. Is Mr. Morgan behind it? Apologize on behalf of the company for the privacy breach that occurred on the 25th of September. We're currently investigating the breach of trying to understand how this individual was able to obtain your personal information. That was, that was probably done a lot Locked. back in the day. It looks like the code is made up of four letters. Four letters. Did that get put in as a clue? Cruz? No, that's too simple, I'm sure. A letter is sticking out of the case addressed to Miss Cruz and signed by Fern Cave. Okay. Can, can we try Cruz, Locked. actually? It looks like the code is made up of four letters. Oh, it doesn't even let me. No, I'm saying I'm saying them. Are you talking about the prices? Them mm -hmm. prices is amazing. The account's been emptied. Yo. F 
five grand back in this time, boy, that was like, yo. Yeah, no, I was saying like that. If I could go a whole day, go to a restaurant, take a taxi. This looks right up Andrew's alley. I wonder if he's read this one. Stranger in the night. Pills provide birth control. Okay. Looks like someone tore that note apart, but I'm missing some pieces. I can't make out what's written. What was it? Oh, that was his vows in the bathroom? Aww. Locked. It looks like the code is made up of four letters. Maybe I'll find more of those torn paper pieces if I keep cleaning the room. Okay. We can do that. We can tidy up in here a bit. If that's what you if that's what you think we can find some more clues clues doing. Can we make this up? Someone's been sleeping here. I should leave it as it is. This probably doesn't need clean. <laughs> this probably does not need clean. I'm probably not going to find any any clues in here. But it is satisfying. All right. <clears throat> oh. There's some more. There's some more. So then let's just clean up. Oh God, the phone's ringing. Hello. Hello. Andrew. Is, is, is that you? That's the exact look I would make. <laughs> but, oh. It just got real. It 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 just got it just got really real. Yeah, we haven't met Rebecca yet. Seems like Seems like the cruisers are in town so that they can renew their vows. From the look of it, Hector's mother really wants them to hurry up and give her grandchildren. <laughs> I'm suddenly grateful that mom was never so pushy with me. She also mentions that someone's been looking for Hector. Maybe I'm just being a hammer looking for a nail, but could that have anything to do with Mr. Morgan and his stalking? So let's clean this trash can. Nope, there's some more pieces in there. And then, did we clean this trash can? Nope. And there we go. Oh my gosh. Do I gotta get in my bag? <laughs> Say less. Love a good puzzle. I love a good puzzle. That goes over there. This goes right there. I think, right? 
Yeah. It's like the top, right? Yep. Does that go here? Yeah, 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 that go there. It doesn't look like it though, but yeah. Kind of going crazy. Hmm, I don't know where that piece goes. What is what is this? Is this is this even English? What is that? It's some kind of code. Could I break it? Hmm. Why she look out there? I should keep an eye out for those symbols. And I didn't get added to my clues either. Snoop around to find the missing symbols. What? Why does she look in here, though? Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, these symbols match some of the ones on the torn message. That's one of the symbols. We we got some. We we, we got a couple of them. I hope I don't have to remember those. I hope I do not have to remember those. So unless we just go over there now. O is five. W is eight. So all the fives are O's. Oh, it, it, it added to it. Okay, it already added to it. Okay. Okay, and then W is eight. I would have to think I is four. I would have to think I is four. Oh. T. No, L. I will L O V E. Nah, because we already found O. I will L. Yeah, let's find. Let's find some more. Let's find some more. Let's find some more. Is there any on that one? Is there any in here? SW. Looks like you had a few appointments with him, Mr. Cruz. Or her. Montreal, though? I do want to go to Canada soon. I heard some fire, fire little spots out there. Nothing on there. Maybe on his vows? Uh, 
was not trying to do that. That's so funny, you can hear them in there. <laughs> That's on a fire. Finding anything else though. Hmm. What were you apologizing for? I'm sorry, please forgive me. Forgiven. Probably not. Probably not. Food is still there. Hector, insurance agent. Why is he <laughs> he he was slinging insurance while he was gonna go get, do his vows and stuff? Montreal a gang warfare right now? Wait, really? No. No, I don't believe that. Locked. It looks like the code is made up of four letters. Ooh. The shade is really striking. Ooh. We all in her stuff. <laughs> we is all in her stuff. Is there anything on here? You don't see someone withdraw five thousand dollars every day. Just oh oh oh! At the top! At the top! Higher! Go to the top! Account. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll have to remember these. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. I'll have to remember these. Are you for real right now? I'm gonna have to look up some stuff about my. I don't know nothing about that place. I'm gonna have to look up some stuff about that. Alright, so what we got? N is a. Or no, oh, slash is N. I will blank in. Eh. You? Wait. Eight is W. Yeah, we got that. Which one did we get? T? Oh, this is T. What? S. So three is E. Three has to be E. I will Yeah, we got to keep looking. We got to keep looking. This is probably X. Oh, that is. We have that one. We actually have that one. Okay. We gotta keep looking. We gotta keep looking. We gotta keep looking. Where haven't we looked yet? Where haven't we looked yet? Cause that last one, that got me low key. Brooks just told me here's <laughs> streamer. Let's go. What's good, Brooks? What's good, Bryce? <laughs> What's good? Welcome, man. Welcome, man. Hopefully you feel me ain't no jump scares, you know what I mean? I don't I don't know yet. We should be good right now. I, I don't think there's any jump scares yet. Someone had quite the shopping spree. There was nothing on here. Yeah, there was nothing on there. And we didn't really check the drawers like that yet. Anything on the toothpaste? Nah. 
clean the mirror, maybe? Nope, nothing on there. Was about to turn on Miss Rachel. <laughs> nah, nah, come on in here, Brooks. Let's talk a little bit. Today, we learned that Montreal is not that safe. I ain't know that. I ain't know that. This game is based in Montreal, so. Now I'm gonna have to do some research on the on the area. Right now we're looking we're looking for like one more clue, man. <laughs> Ray, he, he uh he's a baby. Brooks is a baby. But that is cool though. I'm gonna hold him to that actually. Nah, now that you say that, Ray, I'm gonna hold him to that. Next time I see Brooks, I'm gonna be like, bruh. I appreciate you tuning into my stream, gang. Which we got this, right? Yes. These are part of the same set. More of these symbols. Oh no, I didn't get these. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. I figured that. <laughs> he just said, Dad, how did, how did he not know Montreal wasn't safe? Everyone knows that. Wait, really? <laughs> Hold on one second. Do we have two? We don't have two. We don't have two. I will blank is my g right yeah g's in <laughs> i will blank notes in the net oh that's not that's not right that's not right That's not right. I'm reading that wrong. I'm reading that wrong. It's calmed down a little bit, though. That's crazy. I really just learned that for the first time. I will. What? What word is this? This is a word I know none of us know. Did we get? Dang, we need to keep looking. We need to keep looking. We need to keep looking. We're missing key parts right now. We're missing key parts right now because I don't know what that word is. If y'all can think of some chat, let me, let me know. Cause tent, rent, rent, maybe. Cause that would give me a, a R there, but I still don't know what that word is. Go back to the note. I will oh leave. I will leave notes in the vent next to your door. I don't know if you, no, no, that's not right. It's we're missing something. 
Next to your roof? My fives are right, though. Room? I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Bit sit. <laughs> hotel reception desk. Andrew speaking. Hey, Andrew. It's me. Sophie. Did you uncover anything in 509? I did. I found a message written in strange symbols. A kind of secret code. You're dealing with some what? spies. Awesome. Uh, did you crack it? It says, I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. We're dealing vent? with some spies. What an odd thing to do. Yeah. And whoever the message was intended for went through a lot of trouble to hide it. <laughs> it was torn in a dozen pieces and scattered in three different trash cans. So the cruises are keeping secrets from Or each other. somebody put that in there that they don't know. Them's having an affair? Uh, I think it's blackmail. I think I it's blackmail. Know. It really looks like blackmail. blackmail. I think it's blackmail. What makes you say that? The the the, the empty I, I found something that that's their bank account got empty. Bank right? statement belonging to Mrs. Cruz. We going through Her all this stuff. Was emptied very recently. Empty no one does that unless they're in trouble. Or traveling. What do you mean? Well, they're not home, so they do need their money handy. Plus, a trip can be pretty costly. Pretty costly? They spent $20 in one that day. That's nothing. It could be anything. Did you find something else to back your theory? Security breach? Her, I also found a her... letter from some sort of company, Fernie and Weissman. It mentions a security breach. Somebody tried Target to take her identity? Cruises? Just the wife. It seems some of her private information was stolen by someone. Okay, it can't be a coincidence that she would withdraw- Lethal company? Right we need to do it modded. Breach. Whatever it is they found out, she was willing to pay them to keep quiet about it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It could be blackmail for sure. Do you think Mr. Morgan's the blackmailer? Peepin' Tom's. <laughs> or he was hired to find the blackmailer. What if he blackmails me too? Do you think- Mr. Morgan's the blackmailer. So the the first guy that we've came across. Or he was hired to find the blackmailer? Nah. What if he if blackmails me case, too? Does he intend to blackmail me too? Oh shoot. That's quite possible. Maybe you should throw away those pictures after all. I'll think about it. <laughs> Freak y'all. I know for sure. <laughs> I should it's all have a freaky old tale, man. Message. Good idea. It's almost break time for me. If you need this game, me, yes, you made it right in time. Twisted. Through to the break room. All right, enjoy your break. You made it Thanks right so in time. Me. You made it right in time, man. All right, what's the move? I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. But which vent? I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. Uh, this room? Is there a vent next to this room? No. What about 507? I guess the rooms go this way. Wax, what's good? Oh, the gang in the building today. The gang in the building today. Nope, 507 don't have a vent. Can't even walk down that far. Or am I looking? I don't know why I'm looking at the ground. Like I'm expecting the vent to be on the ground. What? Did, what did that just say? That was probably not a good time to disturb Bernard. It said Bernard and Linda during the this crazy old hotel, man. God dang! Oh, here's a vent. Here's a vent. Oh, 
can't open these without a screwdriver. Hey. Screwdriver over here. Bunch of paint buckets. Blocking the stairs seems dangerous. What if the elevator breaks down again? Um, I think there was one in the basement. Oh, there's a toolbox. Shoot, no screwdriver. Hm. What's life without a little challenge? God dang it. What this? Is this going to tell us where the screwdriver is? <laughs> this is going to tell us where the screwdriver at? Highest priority, huh? Eugene, that Bernard tells me there is a cold draft coming from his window. Right Fixing this should be your highest priority today. Okay. So that's, is that where it Sounds like Eugene asked Bernard to stop opposing the construction of the new psychiatric hospital. And Bernard was Bernard. I was unaware of your daughter's condition. I can only imagine how difficult this must be for you and your wife, but do not worry. You only have to look at my brother to see how rotten apples grow even in the best of families as for your request i'm afraid i am unable to grant it mr weston is both a good friend of mine and a benefactor of the clarington so it would be inappropriate for me to oppose him also considering his great influence in the city i have no doubt he will manage to prevent the hospital's construction no matter what We going through all the janitor stuff right oh, now. Eugene, I had no idea. A friend of mine has heard from your, her hairdresser, who's heard from her sister-in-law, who works as a secretary to the mayor, that the city plans on building a new mental hospital right next to Clarenton. Imagine, Denise could get the care she needs while staying close to home. It's almost too good to be true. I don't dare get my hopes up, but still, aww. So he wants the hospital to be built, but everyone doesn't want the hospital to be built. Wow, what a guy. A pro at fixing the fuse box. Wait, Sophie, you don't need these. Be careful. It's a slippery slope towards becoming a hoarder. Is that her? Huh, oh, this must be Eugene with his daughter. He looks like a caring father. So the ho hotel haunted too? I don't think so. I, we haven't seen anything haunted happen yet. All we got is our freaky old manager. Is he still in here? Yeah, all we got is our freaky old manager. Um, we have a weird stalker that has our photo. Everywhere lately. Say no to it's divorce. Weird, allows it. <laughs> uh, we, we found photos in a client's room. Um, but we found out that that client's room that we found the photos in uh, is stalking another couple. We just found out that other couple just had their bank emptied. No, no, it was it. Was, it oh, oh, shoot, I'm just walking into random hotel rooms. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the basement. Let's go to the basement. Eugene must be down in Bernard's office. Oh, how was they sending mail back then in the forties? That's not that long ago, is it? Oh God, who is that? Who is that? Is that is that Bernard? It's uh, Miss Bellevet, isn't it? What? Oh, um, Roy. Oh, right. <laughs> the mail shook. <laughs> You're the one who the postal service. Off, aren't you? You had to uh, take care of your sister, I think. Mother, my mother. She's um, she's very sick. Hmm. No, I hope this doesn't become a recurring thing. Look, let's look. Let's look. Let's look right now. I understand, sir. What are you doing here? Anyway? When was are you on break? USPS made. 1971. You actually might be on to something. But that was like Is that Vince? 
<laughs> it does kind of look like him. No, I need no. a screwdriver. I'm just getting a screwdriver. A screwdriver? I'll throw it. <laughs> um, loose vent. Well, that sounds like a job for Eugene, doesn't it? Yes, you're right. Then leave the repairs to him. Okay, I will. <clears throat> this had to be the longest elevator ride ever. Oh my god, here What's he goes. On? Oh, sneaking up on me. <laughs> Sorry. Seems I've made a habit of sneaking up on you today. Spying on Bernard again? No, I'm looking for a screwdriver. For the Carrier vent. Pigeon might have Carrier Asked Pigeon might have been the one. Window. Ah, gotcha. Eugene? What? Uh maybe you should go have a look. You know what? I'll I'll stand guard by the elevator and um holler if Bernard approaches. Okay, thanks. I'll be quick. This man, Eugene. He is not the person to have in our camp for this, man. Maybe we should have hit Linda. Maybe we should have hit Linda. I don't know. All I need is that screwdriver. You grab that. Uh -huh. Let's get you to that vent. Grab that. But what the heck they got going on? I'm posing something that could help so many people. I'd like to thank you for this agreeing to, to this partnership. Time? On the this other is note, ridiculous. It has become to my attention. I formed a group of local businessmen to oppose the construction of the new mental hospital. The mental hospital would help Eugene's daughter. God. They don't care about Eugene's daughter. With this blizzard, Bernard's office will be a skating rink by the end of the day. Best to avoid that. Should we snoop? Should we snoop in Bernard's office? Why not? Ew. Is this Linda's? This man keeping Linda's draws in his in his desk. Yo, like, look at this is a desk back in the day. A typewriter? A typewriter just in front of your desk, like. Perfect. Get at it. What was he writing? This does not look like a nice brotherly check in. I had no idea things were this bad between Bernard and Raymond. I thank you for your invaluable input, but I need to remind you the terms of our agreement. I did my part. I got you out of jail and have ensured the news of your deviant ways would not leak. Now I expect you to keep your side of the bargain and stay out of my way. You're not in charge of the hotel anymore. Enjoy retirement. Oh, so he finessed his way to be a manager. That's that. That says a lot about him. This not even this not even supposed to be his office. Well, just look at these distinguished gentlemen. And a young Bernard. This not even supposed to be his office. I'm surprised this game is in color. <laughs> you know the world was in black and white till 1951. <laughs> Alright, let's get up out of here. Do you remember that loose tile from last week? Yes. Well, uh, I'm afraid it hasn't been properly repaired what do you mean i mean that um it's still broken sir Someone yeah andrew but you can still hear yeah it. andrew to make sure guests don't trip over it. chat don't rock with you andrew i do for a little bit description um no no it isn't sir well then i suggest you stop worrying about miss Bellavit. what were you doing in my office um I wasn't. I wasn't. I was. I was simply closing the door. I was just closing the door. Huh. Must have been Eugene. Well, don't you have work to do? Yes, sir. Then get to it. Oh, Mrs. Drake has asked to see you again. Just indulge her. Apologize one more time for Friday's mishap. Do whatever needs to be done. We cannot afford to lose such loyal guests. Very well, sir. 
Ooh. Whew. I think my heart stopped beating there for a moment. Yeah, me too. Y'all not gonna move from out front of his door? Perfect. Now, I should probably get to it before you know who comes out of his office again. Get post it. Get from in front of the door, y'all. Get. Alright. Oh, that was a steam trophy to talk uh, talk our way out of that? Hey, we good. Yeah, she, if I I, I would have slid out of there quick, just kept walking, just. She want to stand behind them like, oh, what are you guys talking about? If you don't move. Raymond. Bernard allegedly kept Raymond out of jail and kept any word of his deviant ways from spreading. This should have been Raymond's hotel. Oh, I guess I'm free to disturb room 508 now. But that's where Bernard and Linda were. Ew. Yeah, nah, I ain't going in there. Was Did I leave this open? I'm just going to close it. Uh, I like that. I was about to say, it better give me all the ones I had before. E. M. T. Meet me. The slash in slashes in. Meet me tonight. In Do we have seven? Oh, okay. Why? R. Meet me tonight in my room. Michelle? Michael? Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss Meet our plan. In my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. I kind of went crazy on that, y'all. My room, Mitchell. Look, I need to look at the chat, y'all. I need to look at the chat. I kind of went crazy on that. reception desk. Andrew speaking. It's me. Hey, you got anything good for me? I found another secret message. Nah, can you look up a guest? Uh. That wouldn't help. I found another message written in secret code. And? It says, meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Who's Michael? A guest's husband? I don't know. It's the first time I'm hearing of a Michael in this story. Yeah, the cast keeps getting bigger. I'll just check the logbook. I'm sure there's more than one Michael here. Michael staying in room 507. Mrs. Beaumont's room? But she doesn't have a husband. She's here alone with... Oh, 
Michael must be her son. I got him some extra blankets the other day so he could build a fort. That's really nice of you. So, Mrs. Beaumont is linked to the cruises, huh? I have a feeling we may be approaching the climax of this story. I guess I should go have a look at 507, but it's not on my list. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. How about I call up there? You know, to make sure no one's home. Good idea. Just a sec. There's no there. Well, it looks like the room is ready for your snooping, my lady. Thank you, good <clears throat> sir. <laughs> Look at them flirting. They flirting on it. Come on. It still blows my mind. We are still in a work shift. <laughs> this is all happening within one shift. Phones are tapped. <laughs> 507. Time to get my snoop on. Uh... I think you're reaching the clouds. It, that was fire, Aisha. That was fire. That was fire. I think I did read somewhere. It's like three and a half hours. So we can see. We'll see how fast we can beat this, man. Here, let's close that door. I have until about like six, six and some change. So. Mr. Cruz, huh? I wasn't expecting Number, that. Dates, times. What does it all mean? I wasn't expecting to see Mr. Cruz's stuff in here. Oh, look at the kids fort. They look crazy. They almost look like Marcella. Who is Marcella? Who? Oh. Oh. Mr. Cruz's wife's name is Marcella. Oh, Michael. Adults can be so confusing. I'm sorry, but mom asked me not to I tell you the name of our hotel. It's not you. She allowed me to, she allowed me to talk about our room though. We have two little beds, a radio, and even a television. Mom let me build a fort and the maid brought us extra blankets. She's really nice. The hotel is nice, but I miss home. I wish mom and you could be happy. Aww. Shout out, Michael. Shout out, Michael. I don't think there's anything else in here. So you were eager to set up a meeting, but didn't want anyone noticing. Hmm. So whoever this Miss Beaumont person is... Her and Mr. Cruz, I think, is in cahoots. Michael's withdraw from school. I mean, if, if she was part of the finesse to get that five racks. Like y'all said back in the day, that's like, shoo, that's some good money. Sounds like this is from your school days, but the name of the sender is smudged. Dear Anne, you were right. I missed the snow already. I will leave Montreal on the 8th. I cannot wait to be back. I miss finding black cat hairs all over my clothes. What? So her name's Anne? Anne Beaumont? Funny how some games really stand the test of time. I used to play this with mom all the time. Shoots and ladders is this old? Snakes and ladders? So a husband can abuse his wife and just get away with it? I've met with Louie and like asked... Linda still think divorce is wrong? Ugh. I think I should reiterate some of your... Such as wife abuse are not grounds for divorce in Quebec? Wait. You can deny someone getting a divorce? Adam or Eve. Hmm? <laughs> I 
Greta. They had a cat in here? Locked. The key has to be around here somewhere. Back then, they ain't care about that. These few coins in my tip jar were getting pretty lonely. They'll appreciate the company. Ah, that's so sweet. We hitting licks. I didn't do much, but I'm glad it meant something to you. Dear Sophie, thank you so much for taking care of our room every day and bringing us extra sheets. Michael and I wanted to give you a little something before we left. Oh, that was that tip was for me. Okay, appreciate you, gang. That look in your eyes. What does it mean? You don't need to know my name, from. but you've seen me. I've recognized that look in your eyes when you checked in. You and I don't need to make a fuss out of this. You keep your wits about you, and I'll do the same. Anything in the trash? There's something behind the trash. So it has been sent to you and has been around the world three times. <laughs> the one who breaks the chain will have bad luck. Mr. Smith received the letter in 1953, made 33 copies, and sent them. Make 33 copies and send them. You will experience great joy within three days. There's no way this was a thing back then. There's no way this was a thing back then. That used to be like on like MySpace and stuff. Like repost or you'll have bad luck for in five days. <laughs> okay, so we need to find keys. <laughs> Not chain mail, like yo. Imagine going through the process of walking out to your mailbox, finding a little letter opener, cut your little letter open, and they talking about send this to thirty three people. Let's check the bathroom. Actually, can we check this really quick? Nope. Let's check the bathroom. We haven't been in here yet. He's all but outright Is that French? Yepi? Oh, I hope you can stay as far away from him as possible. I just met with your lawyer. You've got some balls to accuse me of all that. As if you're irreproachable irre yourself. Do you think I don't know where you spend your nights? But worst of all is that you won't let me see my son. You won't even tell me where he is. If you think you have a chance to get custody, you really don't know me well. I won't let you take Michael away from me. So it sounds like she's trying to leave her husband, but we don't know why. We don't know why Mr. Looks Cruz. Like someone grew tired of looking at your face, Mr. Beaumont. Yeesh. That's a fire, uh. That's a fire like logo. No keys in here though. Don't clean anything? I tried not to. I the the toilet one is weird. I've done that like multiple times in a couple rooms. Where I I accidentally clicked it. <laughs> where I'm just thinking it's like an inspect thing. But I agree. I ain't, I ain't cleaning nothing for fun. The trash I have had to, though. I definitely had to with the trash. What is on this plate? Uh -huh. Oh. Keys are Snoop's best friend. It's a key. Keys are Snoop's best friend. She getting proud of Snoop, and I don't like that. <laughs> I need I'll two need key to unlock this. Haven't I seen one just like this somewhere? Where? That key looks so familiar. Why 505? Do I it with room 505. I don't remember that, Sophie. Why would you want to inspect the toilet? I don't know, man. You know, maybe they dropped something in there. You know, maybe you know. Fingerprints? I don't. I don't know. She seen that key in in five oh five. The O the crazy dude's room.
Oh, is that it? Think, Sophie. Where have you seen a key like that one before? In a safe? In a safe? Huh? She said 505, didn't she? That key looks so familiar. Why do I associate it with room 505? <laughs> I don't hear <laughs> Facts. 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 Oh. Nope. I'm gonna make his bed twisted. I. You know, it's it's just you know, it's just what I do. More pillow, then you're good. It's just it's just what I do. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just part. It's just part of my. My career. Oh. <laughs> she said, oh. <laughs> I don't think, is she tripping? Did not see that key in here, Sophie. Let's see what she says again. Think, Sophie. Where have you seen a key like that one before? In a safe? No, it's not in here. I got that strap there. <laughs> Give me some light, you feel me? Familiar. Why do I associate it with room 505? In Canada? Is that like a, a fence? Here, let's go to these clues. Because you know, in like places like New York, that's like the worst thing ever to get caught with. You doing crazy jail time. Oh. The physics for this. <laughs> French English dictionary might need that. Today, yes, not back then. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. What was this on the back? Oh, I did pick this up. <laughs> I did pick this up, but I didn't turn it around to see that. Think, Sophie. Where have you seen a key like that one before? In a safe? Is there another type of safe he has in here that we haven't came across? He gonna know somebody was snooping in this room. <laughs> like we got, we turned this room upside down. Clean the trash can in here. Nothing in there. I think you're tripping, Sophie. And we can't open that safe. I think everything is an offense in Canada, right? 
I take that as an offense. <laughs> What's that back there? I can grab it. That key looks so familiar. Why do I associate it with room 505? Let me let me go back to the OG room first. I thought I heard something when I walked in. Now nah, he wouldn't he wouldn't have he wouldn't he wouldn't get caught lacking with the key to whoever he in cahoots with in the room with his wife. Yeah, maybe that person went to another room with the key. That's what I'm thinking. The janitor, the janitor wouldn't have it. Relationship tab? Nah, there's just like there characters. Like that one before. In a safe? Um, it's Beaumont. Miss Boo Beaumont. There's a framed picture of the group. Michael, the kid. Mr. Beaumont. He's an op. But room 505 was like the very first person, Paul Morgan. Oh, I wonder if it's like in his clothes or something. Is that what you working right now? Or are you talking about our main character here? <laughs> yeah, no, there's no way to like look at her clothes or anything. Nah, we can't be stuck. We've been going solid y'all for like an hour. There's no way we're, we're stuck on finding a key. We better than this. But there's not there's nothing else. There's nothing and that it key looks so familiar. Why do I associate it with room five oh five? Main character. <laughs> yeah, I, I I think she's she's confusing us by saying room five oh five. Like it's probably not even room five oh five that she's seen it in. Ooh, I don't know whose room this is. Oh, this was, uh, this is the first room we started in. Yeah, this is the first room we started in. Hmm, only menswear. Are you in town for a business trip, maybe? Is there a safe in here? Doesn't let us interact. You got to keep everything just like it was or you'll get caught. Nope, not me. Mm -mm. Nope. Wall art? Hold on, I want to check. Here, let's check. Let's check that one room really quick. Oh boy. Someone oh. Been living it up. Wrong room. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't been in that room with uh, Bernard that Bernard was in. I kind of just want to see if something funny is in here. I don't know what I just cleaned up. 
Look, they was just in a random room. Mm, mm, mm. Now nah, this room's already clean though. There's all those freaking divorce. Oh, I thought that was blood. I thought that was blood. Throw it, throw it, throw it the way. They're no stupid old. Uh... Oh. Yeah, nah, I ain't gonna go through all those drawers. <laughs> Molly <Malika>, got Karen. <laughs> oh, I thought I messed up the door. Yeah, let's try. Let's let's look in the wall. Let's look in the wall. I feel like that's our only <laughs> smell. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't that long ago. We have the safe open. Think, Sophie. Where have you seen a key like that one before? In a safe? Nothing there. Nah, we can't be stumped already. Is it a murder? We don't know yet. As of now, the only thing that we know is that this person. Let me show you. Let me show you, Twisted. This is where we started. <laughs> this is where we started. We went into this hotel to clean it. We went into this room to clean it because, well, no, no, no. Backstory. We found this film roll. Somebody at the desk told us who has film. We go to his room. We walk in because he's not there and we see photos of ourselves. So then we go to do some snooping to figure out who he was. We found out who he was. And it found out his name was not the same. But when we started snooping some more, we seen he wasn't really stalking our main character. He was stalking another couple. So we go into that other couple's room and start snooping around their stuff. And we find out that the wife's bank account has been completely drained. Her identity has been stolen. It looks like they got into some sort of argument. Either of them are there. The only other thing we found was those messages that that was when you came in. Those secret messages that said, I'll be by the vent or I'll be by meet me here or by, you know, without Michael. So that is where we found out. That is where we are now is we are in that other person's room. Uh, I believe 507 yeah so we're trying to figure out where she comes into this story of why the first guy was stalking this couple and in that there was this that had these keys but we only have one key but I honestly don't know if we need that to continue the story though We're down a rabbit hole right now. We still want to figure out why he has photos of us. But at the same time, what happened? What's going on with that other couple? Yeah, we might have to look this up, y'all. We went strong. We went strong. We went really strong. We went really strong, man. Dang. Wow, okay, I'm not even going to read it past that. I'm not even going to read it past that. Because that I, I don't want to cheat it too much. I don't want to cheat it too much. We did miss an important detail. Come on, chat. Come on, chat. We got to do better. We got to do better. It says we can see it on her necklace. Ah, oh, there you are. With Marcella. God knows where she is. Oh, 
Harrington Hotel reception desk. Andrew speaking. Hey, Andrew. Sophie, crazy timing. I've got something for you. Oh, what is it? I heard a certain Mr. Cruz and a Mr. Morgan had an argument yesterday evening. Really? Who told you that? Jacques did. Apparently, it got so heated he had to get involved. And it sounds like I was on the right track, because he heard a particular word thrown around quite a lot. Can you guess what it is? Affair, probably. Uh? Blackmail? Um, blackmail? Well, that was your theory, remember? Okay, it's fair. No, it's affair. Okay. Affair? Hmm. How bad was the fight? I think Jacques got in the middle of it before it got too intense. But he said Mr. Cruz looked like he was about to kill Mr. Morgan. So Mrs. Cruz must be having an affair with him, right? And her husband found out? Nah. Maybe, but that doesn't explain Mrs. Beaumont's involvement yeah, what, what, with Mrs. Cruz. What is the other lady's involvement? I found a chest in room 507. I think it She's standing in the drawer. Two keys at once. <laughs> I found one of them in Mrs. Beaumont's things. What about the second one? Well, I remembered seeing a similar key in one of Mr. Morgan's stocking pictures, so I went back to check. Mrs. Cruz wears it as a pendant. It looks identical to Mrs. Beaumont's key. Let me get this straight. Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz own identical keys that open a chest with two locks? Okay. There's definitely something going on between them. Yeah, that's weird. Um... Oh, is the two women? Yeah, but the answers probably lie in that chest, and I don't think I'll be able to open it. I've looked around room 509. I would have seen the second key if it was there. Mrs. Cruz must have left with it this morning. Mm, probably. We were so close. I can't believe it all ends here. Well... If you get me a candle and some plaster, right, Yeppy? Andrew just on the phone like, maybe you should, go, maybe you I'll should tell go. You later, okay, just find those things, and I'll meet you in the basement as soon as I can. All right, thank you for not giving up. I would never give up on you. Yeah, Andrew. Plaster and candles. All right, plaster well, and candles. Oh gosh. I should be able to find plaster. We are somewhere. stuck in this dresser. Okay, we're good. Okay, I think plaster was on that ladder down here. I don't know where the heck candles is that. Plaster bag near the stairs earlier. He gossiping while you risking your neck. It's the women, yeah, I think so. Hey, this takes care of half of this little scavenger hunt. As for the candles, doesn't Rebecca keep some in her locker downstairs? I like the the little voice hints. <laughs> the voice hints are cool. <laughs> This really is like you're playing a movie, y'all. That's what that's the vibe I'm getting. It's like you're literally playing a movie. That is so fire. <laughs> so we need Rebecca's locker. Oh, Andrew's locker. Yeah, I still got the key. to you before you came to Montreal why don't you want to go back home okay he doesn't want to return home <laughs> figures if you were going to break any rules list of prohibited books to read which books you can or cannot read Andrew gosh I hardly recognized you guess this is from a different lifetime we all in his stuff. Don't worry about me, y'all. Nothing weird in here, though. It doesn't let me look down there. Nothing weird. Look, come on, chat. Y'all was saying he was weird. I think he he cleared it for the first. Nothing crazy in his locker. Candles, candles, candles. I think Rebecca keeps a stash of them, but where? I don't know where. Her, these are the only lockers down here. Oh, there's more in here. Bernard and Linda just be kicking it all day. 
Jesus. Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca. Andrew gonna know you checked his locker? No. How? So you do have a stash of candles. How? Where is it? How? I remember you saying you never wanted to be caught in the dark basement again. Where's your stash? It's urgent, please. Oh, there they are. Are these not candles back here? The VIP guest in room 602 is getting on her. He keeps ordering food. That's not even the worst of it, though. Every night he barges in the kitchen as if he's at home asking for meat. So it looks like they're in the kitchen, then. Yeah, I think they're in the Maybe kitchen. Bobby took some candles from Rebecca already. Well, let's hit the kitchen now. We haven't been there yet. Oh, the break room's open. This was not open. Tempting, but every mm, now's not the time to pick up smoking, Sophie. Break room kind of fire. Too quick. <laughs> So whoever keeps stealing my lunch, I want my Tupperware's back. Yo, could you imagine? Gotta hold on to these tight. Don't I already have a master key? I guess I don't need that one. Yeah, unless they got cameras, Andrew ain't gonna know nothing. Sophie, you're forgetting what you came here for. The candles. Better try to get them before Andrew gets here. It's locked. Is the kitchen down here then? Or was it in that room? Oh, right. My keys are still in the break room. Oh, I could get my... Oh, 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 oh. Make sure I ain't missing them on these. That was my keys on this. Don't worry, gossiper. I'm coming back to you. See, that's why. That's why she likes snooping and stuff. Got she love gossip. She love being in the drama. This is what she do. Andrew gonna know. I'm sure. Look at his glasses. He's clearly smart. <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on somebody else. Real quick. I don't see any candles in here. I I feel like I just heard a mouse. So maybe we look for Bobby's closet. No candles, but this looks like the laundry room. Why would he? Why? Why would he draw this? <laughs> why would he draw the? Yeah, this is this is where the candles are. You, you don't know where the. Here, let me draw. Let me draw the little bench and little end table. You don't. You don't remember where that sits at in the room. My boy. And then we got the master key from the break room, so we actually needed to grab those keys. Mr. VIP is really getting to Bobby. I don't care who he is, how rich he is, how famous he is. The VIP guest in 602 is a psycho. All right, all right. I can't wait to meet them. They're probably going to be interesting. Candles, candles, candles. Candles, candles, where are you? Someone crying? Candles. Got a candle. Now, 
What next? Let's see if Andrew is around. I draw stuff like that all the time. <laughs> there you are. I'm not sure I understand what the plan is here. <laughs> like well, treasure maps. <laughs> I remember reading a spy novel. I can't remember the title. It wasn't that good. In which they used wax and plaster to make a key mold. I'm thinking we could do the same. Are you sure it's going to work? Sure? No. In the novel, they used a special kind of wax, not candle wax. But I think it's worth a shot. Yeah, you're right. So let's do this, shall we? Yeah, this is a crazy shift. This is all in one shift. First step, um, pour the wax, I suppose. Okay. Be careful though. Okay, the okay, okay. Probably hot. Okay. That's it. Here Nicely done. A Andrew don't do no work. Next. Like step, I I'm doing all the work the for this man. In the wax. Right. Better wait a few seconds before removing it. Hold on. That's not what's next. Looks good. Pretty sure you can take it out now. Okay. I think we're almost done. All that's left is to pour the plaster from the cup into the mold. Good job. So now we wait until it's dry, I guess. How long do you think it's going to take? A few minutes. So I knew how much a TV we was for my office. Now and then to check. I bet you didn't think you'd be making a plaster key today, huh? Uh, <laughs> Y'all are no, cloudy. But I like it. I feel like I'm in one of those novels I spend my days reading. Just know if I work with y'all, I'm, I'm not reading those. I would look at that and be like, what the heck? But I feel like, okay. Um, ever read banned books? Oh, from what we just seen in his locker. Have you ever read banned books? What do you mean? You know, books banned by the church. I heard, um... Copernicus is a pretty interesting read. Huh. Uh, funny you should say that. It's on my list, actually. Oh, a list? Although I can confirm it takes a more scientific mind than mine to enjoy it. I suppose there's a reason why those books are illegal, right? Well, the church did persecute Galileo for saying the Earth revolved around the sun, and not the other way around. So, even as a man of the cloth, I don't mind saying their judgment isn't always the best. You're a priest? A man of the cloth? Wait, you're a priest? Technically, no. <laughs> I've gone through most of the classes. A plaster key? Come on. Before taking holy orders. Wow, I never knew that. Yeah, I think you're. I didn't give it away. I'm just asking. It's conversational. I really can't imagine. I know he books. likes books. Hey, you ever Actually, read any banned books? I can't imagine you in anything but this. Come on. Yeah, I guess we've never seen each other outside of work, huh? Maybe we should grab a coffee one day? I could tell you all about the exciting things that happened at the seminary. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think I'd like that. Yeah, so, Andrew. Um, the, the Corner Cafe is not too far from here. Why don't we meet after work one of these evenings? That sounds great. Oh. Yeah, look, look at his hand. Look at his hand. Look at his hand. Double is look at his hand. To go. His hand. Close. Hurt. I could not have done this without you. Well, I'm glad I was able to be of some help. I should get back upstairs, though. I've been gone far too long already. Let me know how it goes with the key. Oh, and you should probably be careful when you turn it. Otherwise, it could break inside the lock. Yeah, I'll be careful. Thank you for everything. You're welcome, Sophie. A plaster key? There's no way. There is absolutely no way. Keys. Now, let's test them out. Nah, that was I was smooth with it. I I knew all that about him. I was just asking him like, "Hey, by the way, you read banned books?" See, y'all got to use y'all resources, man. What if Sophie really likes Andrew? I just helped. Bible said, I gotta close these doors. It makes me nervous. Yeah, I gotta close these doors. Be 
careful, Sophie. You don't want this key to break. Sounds good. Damn it. It's stuck. Great. Unlike my favorite bar, Great. this one was black. Her alliterative name will surely take you back. These two sure love their riddles. They do. In Atlanta, I noticed yours was pretty worn down, so I decided to buy you a new one. I hope you like it. Since you enjoy the, them so much, here's a little puzzle to figure out the combination. Two five-letter words are the key, both related to our history. Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Her, our literal name, will surely take you back. From the first one, take the first two. From the last one, take the last two. There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't think I've looked at everything yet. Huh. Marcella invited you to the movies. Let me guess. You said yes. I can barely listen to Sister Miller's lecture today. All I do is look at your lips. Oh my goodness. Dear Anne, I love you, M. You made me feel like a teenager. You made everything but the present disappear. Now I need to be an adult. Think about the future. Our love is forbidden and hiding it from my family is proving more and more difficult every day. You will always have a special place in my heart. Dang. Damn it. It's stuck. Yeah, put the, put the letters back. That riddle is a duffy. Maybe I need a fresh pair of eyes on it. Oh. There's no shame in asking for help, Sophie. Two heads are better than one, especially when dealing with riddles. I'm walking all over it. Let's call our guy. Seems very elaborate. That's what I'm saying, yeppy. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Andrew speaking. Hey, Andrew. Got a minute? I always have time for you. I opened the chest in room 507. Huh. It worked. Yeah. Well, the key did break inside the lock. I hope this won't lead back to us. <coughs> if it does, we can always skip town. Forge new identities. Change our fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's in the chest? A riddle. A riddle? I think Bro, it was written by Mrs. <laughs> Beaumont for Mrs. Cruz. And I think the answer will give me the combination for a case I found in room 509. I could use your help with it, though. That's awesome. I love riddles. Tell me, which part's causing you trouble? All of it. Um, unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Do you know what this could mean? Unlike my favorite bar, this, really this one was my black. Area of expertise. Hey, Beth, you know bars, right? Well, not all of them. What about one that has a color in its name? Like the orange chair or 
the Blue Lagoon or something. Well, there's the White Cat, but I don't think that's your crowd. Oh, it's not for me, but thanks. Did you get that, Sophie? Yeah, I did. Okay. But I'm not sure I understand what it means. Well, if her favorite bar is indeed the White Cat, then it means we're looking for... A black cat. Exactly. So maybe you should look around to see if there's some reference to a black cat in Mrs. Beaumont's stuff. Okay, I will. Is there anything else? Yeah. Here's another one. Her alliterative name will surely take you back. <sighs> Intriguing. Yeah, I'm not sure what alliterative means. Oh, it's a series of words that start with the same sound or letters. Like, perpetual peril. Does that help you? No. A little bit. It could mean a lot of things, though. That does not you help me. look for a name and surname that start with the same letter. And I think the take you back part is a clue as well. It sounds familiar. Maybe it's a quote from a book or lyrics from a song. If that's the case, you should look for writers or singers' names. Okay. All right. Yeah, that'll narrow my search. Okay, you're bet. much better at riddles than I am. And you're much better at snooping, so we complete each other. <laughs> Anything else I can help you with? Nah. No, that's all. Thank you. My pleasure. So a black I'm just cat. Glad I could finally put my riddle solving skills to good use. Call me when you've opened that case. Alliterative. You know alliterative I'm name. <laughs> So, I need to find something related to a black cat and a person whose first and last names start with the same letter. Somewhere in her room, though? So, I need to find something related to a black cat and a person whose first and last names start with the same letter. Two hours in, he's already simping. Yeah. Greta? There was the cat collar right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I'm, am I glitching the game? There was this Greta collar here. A cat named Greta. G R. A cat named Greta. G R. G R E T A. So let's go back to five O. Dang, they was only a room next to each other. That's crazy. <laughs> they was super close. Let's see if Greta works. Oh, it's only four. Hmm. So that's probably why she was just saying GR. Oh, there's no wheel scroll for the clues? Or I can't click and drag? That sucks. Bridget Boswell was on there. Here, let's see. Let's see what the hint says when she's. Like, Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Her alliterative 
name will surely take you back. These two sure love their riddles. First two and last two. So the last two. Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Her alliterative name will surely take you back. These two sure love their riddles. Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Her alliterative name will surely take you back. I can't. Hold on. Sure let me let me try riddles. to find the the OG poem. I need to figure out two five-letter words both related to Anne and Marcella's past. Because Andrew said that alliterative, it's the same sound. Which, did that one sound like the same sound? Or are you saying, oh, G-R-G-R? -G -R? Here, let's let's try GRGR before I leave. Ah, dang, where you at? Oh, I don't think there is. Yeah, it's not even it's like skipping letters. Huh, so that kind of narrows it down, I guess. We do need to figure out what it said. Was it first and second last? We need to figure out what that says. Because I think it has something to do with that Adam and Eve book. I wish I could pick it up. So the first one's Greta, for sure. We have that one. So does it have to be something that sounds like Greta or GR? Author's name's Bridget Boswell. I feel like that wouldn't make sense. Oh, there was a matchbook in there from the white cat. Yeah, I think we just need this last part. Gloria Gray. Gloria Gray, we found it cuz this was in this was in room 509. So from Gloria Gray, it would be G L O G R. It's, that's not five letters, though. That's six. That's six.
gray, maybe? That's only four, though. Look, they tripped us up on that on purpose. I know they did. I know they put that in here. <laughs> so, hmm, I'm probably going to go back to their room then. Yeah, I'm going to go back to their room. Actually, let's look at some more. I just heard I have just heard Doris Day on the radio and it made me think of you. It might be Doris. So it'd be G R D O or I S. We have a Doris Day. Doris Day. Remember that. Remember that. Yeah, remember Doris Day. D O R I S. So it'd be last two. So it'd be D O R I S. Let's see if I S works. Let's see if I S works. Close that behind me. I, I just got to close these doors. I'm not trying to get caught lacking. G-R-I-S is what I'm thinking. That's it. That's it. That's it! Let's go! Come on, man! Come on! A typewriter. What? That novelist, Bridget Boswell. Is actually you, Marcella? Oh, she's the one who wrote the Adam and Eve book. Dear Marcella, or should I say, Bridget. Oh, Anne. Murder might be a bit much, but you deserve some kind of justice. I didn't respect to reply to my letter, but I'm happy to see I was wrong. Your words have comforted me in a time of great distress. So these are just fan letters to her. And all the, they were the ones they created the secret language to talk to each other. Aww. I do like a happy ending. I just hope. That what, what was she talking crazy. about? Murder, though. The other day I dreamt our first date. We were watching The Postman, but suddenly we were in the movie. You were Lana Turner and I was John Garfield. And we were both plotting to kill my husband. I hate to admit it, but I almost hope it was. Oh. You came to Montreal under the pretense of celebrating your wedding anniversary. But all along, you meant to reunite with Anne. Oh, that's like a book on its own. Gris, it means gray in French. That's kind of fire. <laughs> um, Could you come to see me in Montreal? Okay. There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't think I've looked at everything yet. Really? Are you, are you sure? After all this, turns out you're a fan of Bridget? Of Marcella? That's a lot sweeter than I expected. Oh, that's fire. So Marcella has been writing books under an alias that Anne has been writing 
basically saying how much I'm glad you were able to advance on my salary. So Marcella hired you. But what for? I just received a letter from Lindsay's mother. She tells me he's dead. Words cannot even begin to describe how empty I feel. He died two years ago before I even sent this letter. Who, who, what is this? Although you don't know me, I think I can safely say I'm your biggest fan. Your novels have literally changed my life. After the war, oh, the first, the very first guy. Oh, the very first guy we met is Marcella's stalker. After my discharge, I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. So tracking you down took a lot longer than I thought. Fortunately, I'm very patient and a resourceful man. And I never give up. Please tell me more about your... What? So this was all a story about star-crossed lovers. With the lovers in question being... Dizzy D was good. Seems like it, yeah. But I'm not sure whether they chose to meet here just to reconnect for a few days, or if there's something more to it. Actually, I think I can help with that. Really? How? Well, some mail just arrived here for Mrs. Beaumont. Open it, you Andrew. It's on you. It, you got to right? do some stuff now. What? Aren't you intrigued? Of course. But I can't just... Eh. Oh, all right, all right. I'll open it. <laughs> I'm a bad influence on you. Well, you've been doing all the snooping so far. Thank you. It's about time I take a little risk, too. So? What's in it? It's a tourism pamphlet for California and uh, three train tickets. Hmm. What do you think this means? I'd say Anne and Marcella are probably planning to run away from their husbands. Yeah. Those train tickets must be for them and Michael. Yeah. So you're on a first name basis now, huh? Well, after reading so much of their correspondence, I kind of feel like I know them. Is that photo guy yeah. at nineteen fifty Bob Rossi basically? Characters in a book. I have to say though, I'm still a bit confused as to how Paul fits into all of this. Paul is just a stalker. Yeah, he's just a fan of Mar Marcella. Turns out he's a big fan of Marcella. He is? Why? She writes Pulp Fiction under his pseudonym. I think her books gave Paul a chance to get out of his own head while he was staying in a psychiatric hospital. I get it. Books have always been a way to escape for me too. But why did he have pictures of you? We'll probably never know. I think the trail ends here. I think I got caught in the crossfire. I guess investigations in real life always have some loose ends. I was kind of hoping we'd have this big third act reveal, to be honest. At least it made our day pretty interesting. That's for sure. <laughs> it helped me understand you better, too. Oh? Why you snoop, I mean. Piecing together people's stories, learning what makes them tick. It makes you realize we may have more in common than it seems. You're right. Which is why the next story I'd like to learn is yours, Andrew. Oh? Am I gonna find you snooping through my apartment next? No. <laughs> I would love to share my story with you, Sophie. You're the first person in a long time who's made me feel like I can. Oh. Would you come and see me when your shift ends? Hey, appreciate the love, Dizzy D. If we're able to. Appreciate you, gay. I'm thinking maybe we'll have no choice but to spend the night here. I guess that wouldn't be so bad. We could set up a pillow fort on the mezzanine. A pillow fort? 
We do work in a hotel, you know. There are actual beds here. Oh, I wouldn't be sleeping. I've got a reading list the size of the Eiffel Tower. This would be the perfect chance to put a dent in it. That does sound like fun. I could bring my magazines and... <laughs> ooh, maybe light some of Rebecca's candles. Busy day! Now I kind of hope we do get stuck here. <laughs> Busy day! Appreciate you, gang. I just have to finish my tasks for the day, and then I can leave. That's not that, that. That can't be it, right? That ringing sounds like the elevator doors are jammed. Okay, that can't be. That can't be it, right? I mean, it's, it's so much, so much substance. Oh! Who is that? Who is that? Mr. Cruz? Mr. Cruz. Oh God, oh God, what happened? Mr. Cruz's life insurance policy. Why did he have this on him? Is this about Paul? Does that mean? Please let there be someone around who can help. <gasps> what? I just need to get to a door or a phone. I just need to get to a phone. I do? I have to get the power back on? I'm I'm walking all in it. Should I hold on to this maybe? No, no. Should we hold on to the ice pick? No, 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 no. Let's keep that there. They gonna think we did it. The fuse box. Just get to the fuse box and the janitor's closet. Okay, so okay, we, okay. It's not far. Okay. 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 I didn't picked up the murder weapon, y'all. I done picked up the murder weapon. I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping. <laughs> I think the fuse box was in here. Hmm, it's too big. I guess I'll need something pointier. <laughs> so I gotta go grab the ice pick. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta use the murder weapon. I gotta use the murder weapon to open the fuse box. 
Think, Sophie. Think. What can you use <laughs> to open the fuse box? Yeah, the camera on the ice box. I don't know if I. It, it didn't give me the option to inspect that I wanted to. Nothing. Just gonna grab this for a second. I have to get the power back on. Bro, I'm tripping. <laughs> The gun is not a bad idea. Come on, man. You think Sophie? You think Sophie's shooting a gun? Sophie's not like that. She over here scared the power went out. Nice pick. It's too big. I guess all that worked. Thank God. Now to get the power back. Eugene. What I would give to have you with me right now. If there's a power <sighs> outage make do. and I'm busy preventing another part of this hotel from collapsing, here's what to do. Check the fuse box plan for required amperage for of each socket. Remove all blown fuses from socket. Blown fuses are usually blackened. <coughs> Screw in new fuses in sockets. Make sure amperage is correct. Okay. So these are these are dead. How do we know? How did this end up here? Oh, a list of safe combinations? Interesting. This is what I need. Uh, there's the only fuse here, so. Is that blood? I don't know. It kind of looks like coffee. Mm, no power. I think I need okay. to change all of the blown fuses. Oh, oh, it's all of them that are black. Okay. Okay, so we need a G. How does Eugene do this again? Fuses. I probably need new fuses. Where are all the fuses at? Here they are. I'm scared. I got, I got the power back on. Power's back. Now I should go down to the lobby. Call the police. Uh. Uh. How do you get back to the lobby? From here. Can I just call them from up here? Uh. <laughs> I have to contact the police. Uh. I should be able to call from the front desk. Is there anything I've forgotten? Once I leave this floor, I probably won't be able to come back. Is there anything I've forgotten? I feel like she said that for a reason. Power's back. Now I should go down to the. Oh, lobby. put the ice pick back. Call the police. I have no clue how to drop items. Oh, here you go. Let's go. Yeah, yeppy. Yeah, yeppy. Yeah, yappy. You thinking? You're thinking. Okay, there was no stairs in there. Hello? Is anyone in? Hello? Hello? I 
I need help. Like y'all hear how scared she is? Yeah, we hold on. We gotta find some stairs. We gotta find some stairs. Guess who ain't going to jail? Tonight? <laughs> Guess who's going to jail tonight? Oh, the stairs are blocked. I knew blocking the stairs would be a bad idea. I knew blocking the stairs would be a bad idea. I have to contact the police. I should be able to call right, from the front desk. Then? Is it a different phone? No answer. Andrew must be busy trying to restore the power in the lobby. Power's back. Now I should go down to the lobby. Call the police. So maybe I have to do something with his body? Does carrying this everywhere really make us better maids? Bernard seems to think so. I appreciate you, man. I think of what happened. This is your person that comes to mind. I've been watching for years. Says, hey, mighty big cat. Welcome in. I appreciate the kind words, man. It's crazy because there's been a lot of YouTubers I've seen lately. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to see this while I uh, figure out how to get down to the lobby. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. There's been a lot of YouTubers saying they're taking breaks and stuff now, man. And I feel like that time I'm where sorry. like... I'm so sorry. Hold on, hold on. We got we to gotta get back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> She just pushed his body off the elevator like, yep, let me go ahead and take this elevator back down. Yeah, there's been a lot of big YouTubers saying they've been taking breaks because that that quantity, trying to push quantity is not a thing anymore. There's no one that's happy that has to get out of video twice a week, every week. Like there's there's no, it's very hard to maintain. There's there's YouTubers that's been doing it for ten plus years now. Like I couldn't imagine. So that's that's why your kind words means a lot because I mean that's that's the type of effort I try to put into my videos, man. It's it's something I love to do to be creative. And that's how it will always be. I've never cared about quantity or anything. I've only just cared about just what what type of video do I want to put out? Just yet. I need to deal with this. Phone. Andrew? Where is everyone? Yeah, where is everybody at? Anybody down here? What? Nah, we not safe yet. Here, let's find a phone though. Let's find a phone. We thought it was all gravy. Montreal Police Service, Station 22. There's a, there's a man dead. He's been murdered. I, I need the police. Please stay calm. Where are you right now? The lobby, but the body, it's... it's Say where you're at! Can you give me the address? Please? Say the address, Sophie! Um, 11, 1178 Drummond Street. All right, ma'am. Officers are on their way. Thank you. Come on! No, I just have to wait for the police. How long that's gonna take? Where where is everybody? First of all, <laughs> ignore you. <laughs> you have the foundation to be successful. You just need a, a viral, a huge viral moment to ever show in your videos. You can tell you have fun doing it. I want to avoid going viral as much as possible. Hey, you're here. 
Because then people I've only like you for what you went power, viral for. I think Eugene's the only one with the key to the fuse box, and I... Sophie? Don't worry. I'll find a way to bring the lights back on. Hey, you look a bit pale. Is everything okay? I found Mr. Cruz. Hector. He's back? Uh, how is he taking that whole thing with his wife? He's dead. You don't understand. I found his body. He's... He's dead, Andrew. Jesus. Uh, maybe you need you need to sit down, huh? So one of the one of the wives killed him. Like, like Chick Fil A girl, exactly. You call the police. <laughs> yeah, they're they're on their way. What happened? Was he sick? Or something? No, I don't think so. Someone did this to him. You mean... <sighs> Jesus. Do you think it could be Paul? Nah. The stalker? Nah. Anne and Marcella. Their affair is a pretty good motive. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm with the, the, the two girlfriends right now. I ask you a lot of questions. You may want to be careful about what you tell them. With Paul's history of mental illness, there's a good chance they'll suspect him even if he didn't do it. I understand. I, I know what you mean. Some people seem to assume that spending time in a psychiatric hospital means you're a murderous... Facts, and that don't mean that. Yeah, they really do. You know how I said I studied to become a priest, but never took my orders? That's because I... I felt so lost. I couldn't enjoy the things I used to like. I could barely get myself out of bed. So <laughs> I'm reading them bam books. <laughs> ended up going to a psychiatric hospital. And the doctors, they helped me get back on my feet. But when I returned to my hometown, it was like I had become a complete stranger. My mother kept telling me I was making it worse in my head, but I swear, people were changing sidewalks when they saw me looking at me as if as if i was this dangerous creature all of a sudden that's why i didn't tell you that what call it coincidence or fate but that psychiatric hospital it's the same one paul went to i've met him there talked to him a bit I'm sorry, I didn't say anything before. It's okay. I get why you didn't. You do? Um, I'd rather oh, I didn't know Sophie's mom now. did. That's okay. Or did we? You already have so much on your mind. Yeah, chat was right. They're chat here. was right. Chat was right. Promise me you'll be careful with the information you share. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Why is he saying it like that? Why is he saying it like that? Get your hand off me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know what to think. Miss Roy? Miss Roy. Miss Roy. Oh, sorry. I was distracted. I really need you to focus right now. I don't want to be here all night, and I'm sure you don't either. No. No, I don't. So, as I was saying, we're trying to ascertain the circumstances of Mr. Cruz's death. Can you tell me how you came to find the body? I... I was cleaning room 509 when I heard the elevator bell ring again and again and again. I thought maybe a child All them was random missions doors. he was saying he was so doing was I he running the corridor. And that's when that's when I saw him. All the blood and Why was the elevator bell ringing? I'm sorry. You said you heard the elevator bell ring. Why was it ringing? I assume it wasn't a child after all. 
His body was blocking well, the doors. Mr. Cruz's body was preventing the doors from closing. Really? When we found the body, it wasn't that close to the doors. Oh, um, the stairs are blocked because of the renovations, so the elevator's the only way out of the fifth floor. I... I had no choice but to move the body. Just a little. Ah, so that explains the traces we found. Thank you for clearing that up. So... What did you do after that? Well, um, that's when the power cut. So I had to go to the janitor's closet. To access the fuse box. Exactly. Hmm. I, I changed a few fuses and turned the power I'm back. glad you told me to put the ice pick back, Yeppy. There's a lock Yeppie. on that box, isn't there? Did you have the key? It wasn't locked. No, I didn't. Only Eugene does. But the box wasn't. It wasn't locked. It was already Isn't open. Isn't that unusual? Well, maybe Eugene forgot to lock it last it, time he used it. It was unlocked. Hmm. Or maybe someone tampered with it. Did you go near the ice machine at any point today? Nope. Absolutely not. No. no. Are you sure? No. Yes, I am. What shoe size do you wear? Shoe size? Um, seven. I was Why? walking all well, over it. We found size 7 footprints near the ice machine. I was. I just thought they might be yours. Oh, but that's not an uncommon shoe size, though. Is it? No. No, it's not. So, what did you do after restoring the power? I took the elevator down to the lobby. The that's where I called the police. I couldn't be in no do police interrogation. I'll get Saudi. The operator? The exact words. I... no. I'm afraid I don't. You said there's a man dead. He's been murdered. That's possible. What makes you so sure it was murder? I've been snooping around? Nah, we ain't saying that to the feds. We ain't saying I, that to the feds. I just assumed. What with all the blood? Hmm. I'm afraid I don't believe that, Miss Roy. It's Angel more Franker? than an assumption, isn't it? I'm not sure I understand what you... I know you like going through your guests' personal belongings. We found pictures of you snooping around. Oh. Huh. Now, unless you want me to arrest you for violating your tell guests' privacy, I suggest you tell me everything you know. All right. We've learned from one of your colleagues that the victim had a fight with a guest named Mr. Spade. What can you tell me about him? That's not his name. <laughs> what can you tell me about him? He spent he some time, spent in, a some time in a psychiatric hospital after the war. That's when he got into Mrs. Cruz's novels. I come back. And <laughs> what do we have here? Yes, Black and white. I already know about his time in a madhouse. <laughs> They called the place and they painted quite the picture of him. <laughs> you didn't do Did nothing you wrong. You're right, Yeppy. You're right. In or around the hotel. No. You're right. I mean, we've all got our little quirks, don't we? Did he seem obsessed with Mrs. Cruz? A little, maybe, but... Obsessed enough to kill her husband? No. Nothing like that. We all have our I mean, obsessions. maybe. Me, for instance. I'm obsessed with celebrities and gossip magazines and... You don't seem to understand, Miss Roy. Mr. Spade is not like you and me. He may look like us, but he's not. He's dangerous and needs to be taken off the streets. So tell me, did you ever see him be violent or aggressive? No, I didn't. Take a stand or deny. I mean, no, I didn't. No, I'm sorry. I can't be of more help. No, oh, I'm sure you are. But we're not quite done yet, Miss Roy. The victim's wife, Marcella Cruz. Apparently, she left in quite a hurry this morning. What can you tell me about her? I can tell her. Yeah, you're right, Yeppy. Having an affair. Tell the truth. But it's not what you think. She's been in love I'm gonna tell with the woman since college. They've been apart for more than, than 10 years, and now they're... Yes, yes, I know all about Mrs. Cruz and Mrs. Beaumont's sexual deviance. Have you ever witnessed them engaging in immoral behavior? What do you mean? I'm asking if you've seen them being, you know, intimate. No, I haven't. No. And did you hear them discuss their deviant ways in front of Mrs. Beaumont's son, perhaps? 
Imagine. What kind of effect such perversion can have on a young child? No, I didn't hear anything. Did you hear them express their hatred of men? Did they ever talk about using violence against men? Did you hear them speak ill of Mr. Cruz? No. I didn't. Did I, though? What are you trying to imply? That Mrs. Cruz killed her husband because she hates men? I've seen it before from lesbians. Oh, this has nothing to <laughs> He got a random eye. It's about love. Not that you'd understand. Oh, and you think you do? Then please, enlighten me. She's brave enough to be with the one she loves. That doesn't make her a criminal. That doesn't mean she killed her husband. I'm starting to worry you may be one of them, Miss Roy, since you're so eager to defend and these And I deviants. worry about your ability to do your job, Detective. Why did I click take a stand? A Sophie! Sophie! One chill! More one more word, and you'll be spending the rest of your night in a cell. Sophie, relax! Now get the hell out of here. I've had enough of you. <laughs> we gotta call a spade a spade. <laughs> Bernard was strangely chipper on the phone. That can't be a good sign. I guess I'll know soon enough. The atmosphere is so different in here. Dang, they got everything. I'll never feel off. like it used to. It'll probably be a while before the hotel reopens. What is that? Without Eugene, the lobby will be a swimming pool by the end of the month. Will the rest of the building even be standing? I'll need a mop to clean the puddle. With all the leaks, I'm sure there's one nearby. Come on, y'all. It's up to us to get this hotel back, man. That murder, that murder could probably take us out of business for a long time, man. I can't, I can't, I can't let that slide. <laughs> go, Sophie, go. Hey, she did spaz. She did spaz. Dub, Sophie. Dub, Sophie. She did spaz. I don't. Is that a balloon? Why does it look Let's so creepy? Let's go see what Bernard wants. I'll go empty my locker. Andrew. Hey. Are you okay? Um, I've. But if we give Drake I've two weeks to reply fired. to a verse. What? No. I... Man, we gotta wait okay. to see what happens with Kendrick, I man. Just need some time to process it. I'll be on the mezzanine if you want to join me afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in there, Roy. just typing away on his typewriter. I suppose you know why you're here? No. I'm not sure, actually. Your phone call was a bit vague. Yes, well, I prefer to have this conversation in person. We've been getting a lot of press lately, and not the good kind. I wouldn't expect you to understand the position I'm in, but I assure you, it's quite uncomfortable. To have one's life's work blown away like that. All thanks to some sexual deviance and a nut job. <laughs> it's obvious to me now that I haven't been firm enough. For guests of such morals to be comfortable booking a few nights here and, and, and committing such a horrid act. <sighs> no, things need to change. This means elevating our standards to the highest possible level. And it starts with the people working here. It starts with you. With me? Yes. You've been quite the disappointment. Unclean rooms, several complaints from guests. I may have been too busy to notice it before, but now that it's staring me right in the face, I cannot continue to ignore it. You're fired. What? Can't fire me. You I quit. can't fire me. Because... Because I quit. <laughs> sure. I fire you, you quit. It's all the same to me. 
Just make sure to empty your locker before the end of the month. That'll be all. While he was in there with Linda, while he was on, on, on floor five with Linda, I'm fired. Hey. Hey. What a week. Andrew might get cleared right here, y'all. Andrew might get cleared right here. So what did Bernard want with you? Well, he was being kind of a jerk, so I quit. You what? I quit. I figured there was no point in staying if you were leaving. I'm flattered, but that really wasn't necessary. I think it's for the best. Linda still got her job. Did Bernard say why he was firing you? Well, I told him about my time at the psychiatric hospital. Really? Yeah. He said that that didn't like fit with so the hotel yeah, standards just. and showed me the door. We could find another hotel. So what's next for you? I think I'd like to be my own boss. No more Bernard looking over my shoulder. I've had this dream for a while of maybe opening a bookstore. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. Andrew about to get it cleared right here, y'all. So much sense. I'd be able to combine the two things I love most: reading books and helping people. Andrew's Brandon, about to get cleared right here. People find books is a far cry from helping them find God, but my mom likes to say there's no job too small. Plus, just by the way you're talking about it, it's obvious that it'd make you happy, and that's what really matters. I think. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. I'm really glad I have you in my life. Me too. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Can I kiss you? What? What do you think will happen to them? Who? Oh, sorry, my mind wanders sometimes. I meant Paul, Anne, and Marcella. Do you think they'll be released? Hmm. What do you think? I don't know. I wish they'd get a happy ending, but I'm not sure it's that kind of story. I'd like to believe it is. I think Paul becomes a famed photographer. He gets his own studio and decorates it like a hotel bathroom. As for Anne and Marcella, they move in together, but they keep leaving each other notes in the vents. You know, for old time's sake. <laughs> I like Andrew it. might get cleared Maybe right here, y'all. Hmm. Maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> I do think Paul killed old girl's husband. They both look sad though, like they could have been a part of it. That dog about eight foot tall, ain't it? Oh, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. I got a trophy that said you chose to stand up to Bernard and now you have no job. <laughs>
I think Andrew's cleared, y'all. I think Andrew's clear. I think Paul killed old girl's husband because he was jealous. And he was even angry because in his notes and stuff, he was even, he knew she wasn't, he wasn't in the game. Yeah, like Yeppy said, there's there is multiple endings. There is multiple endings. <sighs> yeah, I I don't know. I don't know what to think. What how you guys feel? How you guys feel? How you guys feel? For those who stayed in this whole one. How you guys feel? Ray, how do you feel? How do you feel? Sam White, how do you feel? How do you feel? I do I forgot we did play a scary story game. I forgot we did beat a scary story game on stream. I forgot about that. So really, this is only like the second game we beat on stream still, though. Let me go to my trophies. Let me go to my trophies that I got. I like the mystery games. That one's a clear mystery. That one was definitely a mystery. Look, like, look, this is the alternate ending. That was a spoiler alert. I showed it real quick. You can rewind if you care. <laughs> You can rewind if you care. That was a spoiler alert. Oh, there's a lot of endings. Scrolling through Steam, I've seen at least four. Like, even just if I would have chose to kiss Andrew... It, it gave a an alternate. That's cool. I like when games do that. I like when games do that. So I wonder if I could have handled the murder scene differently. So it looks like you would either. Nah. I haven't seen any. I haven't seen any screenshots of the murder scene different. Is something happening? Oh, it's on the main screen. Oh, oh, Linda, she for everybody, though. She was messing with the, the hotel manager. That wouldn't even have been worth it. And she had a husband. She had a husband, and she was messing with the hotel manager. That wouldn't even have been worth it. That, was the, that, that might have been the easiest option. Yeah, no, nah, I don't see any different scenes for the murder. So I think it does it it does give that oh. Oh. This this might have been for you, Yeppy. This might have been for you, Yeppy. This might have been for you for putting that ice pick back. <laughs> Yeah, for putting that ice pick back. That's probably how you get locked up. 
That is probably how you get locked up. That's the only different one I've seen for that, like, murder part. I'm not gonna lie, that makes me like this game a lot more. Knowing that people are enjoying getting multiple endings, you always love to see that. Oh. Yeah, that was the other thing. We didn't snoop a lot in other people's lockers. We didn't snoop a lot in, in the other's lockers. We could have probably found some wild stuff. Wow. Hey, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in. This was this bed we made. Once again, for those who come back on this. Or rewind this. My name is Malik Childish. Uh, we are going to be doing this more often. We need to beat games, y'all. We need to just stop buying games and beat the games we have, okay? So that's, that is the mission. We, we have a few more games on the, on the cusp or on the horizon. Um, we're probably going to do a Project Zomboid stream again here soon. Because um, we're, we're picking up on that right now. We're picking up on that. Um, long term, I'm learning 3D modeling at this time. So once I get good at 3D modeling, um, I will probably be working on, for one, a Project Zomboid mod. But we, we got to get back in that Sims world, y'all. We got to get back in that Sims world. So I, I might do another Sims uh, CC video. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna upload some CC content, man. We're gonna upload childish merch as CC, and then I wanna I wanna use some of the stuff I use for Zomboid in Sims. It'll make more sense once we get there. <laughs> It'll make more sense once we get there. But that is what I've been doing, uh, uh, honestly, like the last like two weeks. Um, I would probably say I probably have another two weeks. <laughs> Cause it's it's actually pretty difficult um but i'm learning i'm getting better at it so um i am about to go get dinner I'm about to go watch some soccer tonight um tomorrow tomorrow stay tuned we'll see we'll see what we can do tomorrow we'll see what we can do tomorrow but once again appreciate y'all stopping by um i hope this stream was a lot smoother than last one's new mic our camera's good. I think we're at a good place with live streams, man. So I will talk to y'all later. Thank you for streaming. No problem. No problem. Appreciate you stopping by. Ray, Sandwife, Twisted, Yeppy, Shogun was in the building for a little bit. Mighty Big Cat came through with the, the good words. Dizzy D with the dono today. I almost forgot about that. Aisha stop by yeah man dub stream dub stream y'all have a good night I am out of here